following podcast is recorded and produced by Emerge, a media creators co-op, in affiliation with the network at BICBP-radio.com. Hello and welcome back to the Next of Kin podcast. I'm your host, Rich, joined by my son, Christian. What's How up? are you? How's everything? I'm tired. <laughs> He's tired. He's early. Uh, you got a new job and you've been doing a lot of like online classes or something. Something like that. That's it looks like it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it looks yeah. like it was about as boring as yeah. is um, Star Wars Celebration. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be our topic today. That, that was, was pretty boring. That's I'm a not gonna lie. what? Star yes. Wars Celebration was pretty boring. <laughs> I, I feel like it's um, it's not something I want to go to. No, there was like live. I, I, I don't get going to those things anyway because it just feels like you're kind of like fighting to get into different panels. Isn't that like just basically what it like seems like at a certain point? I, I think you're right. Um, I don't know. I guess first of all, it seems like it'd be really expensive. They just put it in. They just put it far away from all like the American yeah, fans like, that are going to yell at them. So. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> they went to the opposite. That's why they're putting it in Japan for twenty twenty five. Have to listen to language like criticism and like the same language. They're like, what's, why isn't it in Orlando? Because they don't want to go to Orlando <laughs> yeah, for going, lots they, of reasons. There's not going to be a lot of things because there's in Orlando political shit soon, going on so. with Disney in Orlando, so they're not going there. So they went to Japan. They went to the opposite side of yeah. the world, which is fine. That's I like don't in two years, though, right? To be honest, like it's not something I need to. Go to. Thing, so. I mean, I guess it's like similar to sports. People want to go to the draft or something. I guess. Or the combine or something like that. I'm sure that that's kind of what it is like. But I just don't. I'd rather just wait and see the. Videos there was one like one of the on bigger Twitter. Star. I, I, I love shitting on this dude. Like Star Wars theory. That was the same dude who like the bricks, the bricks in the wall. Wrote Nandor. Remember that oh, whole bullshit. My, that guy. That guy. Well, he made see, some cringy ass video where like he was like in front of like a green screen at the airport. And he's like, "Are well, they gonna send me my my ticket to Star Wars celebration?" I'm like, "Why would they like send you?" Like a ticket, and he was like in infer- like any like kind of like uh, inferred like that like that other he that other cre- Star Wars like influencers or creators were like getting paid to go or like getting their like ticket to Star Wars Celebration for free. And so I was like, no, every like Star Wars guy that like went and actually showed up to Star Wars Celebration in London like paid out of pocket. Like right. you're just a fucking hit. you're just like thought that you were important. There's a to lot do- of that you were warranting a like why because you made a fan film and you I have mean, like three you million probably know subscribers. More, you know YouTube. about this more like, than I do. It's I'm annoying sure. anyway. But I mean, this influencers whether it's a Star Wars influencer or that happens whatever, sometimes, but it didn't there happen. There are this some, case. but like, that, every, I, I don't think this is a thing where you're gonna get. There are in. some time, no, There are some like cases where like yeah, like if you're a big enough influencer. Or in like or like depending on the event, like they might like prorate your ticket or like give you a certain level of like uh like transport costs. Well, let me put something. it. Let me but like nobody, but not a single Star Wars creator. For like Lucasfilm doesn't do that shit. Lucasfilm is isn't but nearly. They don't con- need to. Lucasfilm isn't nearly like they like to pretend they're connected with the fan base because they connect with like a couple of the different right. like really niche groups that like make armor, which right. is always like the first That's thing people say. Though. Which is always like the first thing people say. Look, look, they love the fan base. They interact with three groups. <laughs> like, well, I mean, because like, to be honest, which again, they're, they're not nice going groups, to. But still, they're not going to inter- bring in. They're not going to bring in a group that. Is gonna shit on him. Yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, like the five hundred first is that's. I think you're talking about like the five hundred first because that's the stormtrooper. Yeah, guys, like right? that's like the, that's the a different. Of they that's do, a like, different thing. Like, Those guys and production like, and that's yeah. like production type. They're honestly the, some of the five hundred first is like almost like a production level of like like that's almost their purpose. Is, is if, I, it if, I di- if I was if I was Star Wars, Wars pr- you know production and I'm literally reaching out to the five hundred first to have the guys be extras mm-hmm. in my movies and stuff like that because I don't have enough costumes yeah, or whatever positive. it was, they're... then I'd be like, yeah, and we're also going to give their leadership. That's a perk that I would give their leadership. Yeah. Like, come on, we want you to come. To... So we can appro- appropriately thank you at Star Wars yeah. Celebration. So. But either way, like, that didn't happen. Like, And this dude's, like, yeah. on, on his, like, they're public, gonna... his public social jerk. media, like, <laughs> complaint. Like, Why is my ticket? <laughs> Why didn't you give me one? It's like, fuck you. It's like, it's it's like, like... yeah, and then saying that is, like, you just diminished your importance because clearly. I mean, the, clearly, dude's, like, the dude's fucking, clearly, like, lost uh, all, a lot of goodwill so, within the community uh, anyway. Well, but... Yeah, okay. He's, just, uh, oh, he's overly negative 
about everything now. And so, I'm overly negative too, but like it is We're going to get negative really soon. Mine's genuine. And we're going to say negative is, on, for a lot negative. of this podcast. So I'm genuine. warning you genuine. that this is going to be a bad one. Yeah, I'm going to um, fucking be. You, um, you're, you've got some I'm anger upset. issues. And I don't, I'm not upset, And I don't blame like, you. I don't even want to no, like. No, it's just fucking stupid. There's, there are some really cool things about what's coming out, but there's also some bad things. Yeah, true. So it's a, here's what I do want to focus on. Before we're talking we about Star Wars Celebration, by the way. This we're talking about, well, I said that. We're talking yeah, about okay. Star Wars Celebration, which was, to, <laughs> for those of you who don't know who have listened to this, probably there's, we know what Star Wars Celebration is. Can you explain what it is really quickly? Uh, they just do a stupid, like, fucking. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a specific. I don't know why I'm describing it like that. It's a they, specific Star Wars cele- Celebration, They, just, they do like a convention where they, every yeah. two years. It used to be every year, but then they realized the fans hate them, so they change it to every two years. And <laughs> so at least that's what I think. Or also because they realized they weren't putting out enough content to do like a right. thing every year which it, was also because the fans warrant, hate them but whatever. it doesn't warrant coming out every year because there's not enough no not really i'm, I'm joking you know. more more or less than, and they do throw some other disney but it's like an informational thing it. they do announcements films things. like they because they, they talked about the video but again also like half the disney about... stuff gets announced at like d23 right. and like investor day so there's like four other times right. a year where like star wars stuff gets announced as well so well, like and so they it, do... it, it, but this is a more focused star wars z type event specifically for fans right. they did it in london but like, again this time. yeah this time was in london which i think it was in london before rogue one too because i think the andor like like a uh, guy who plays cassian uh Diego Luna was talking about right. how it was nice that he, what he for his like next Star Wars celebration, right. like his first one was for Rogue One, and then the one where he did like an Andor panel at right. was like also in London. So that was cool on right. that level. Um, but, what yeah. I before we get into the Star Wars like specific the stuff, let's talk stuff. about the Indiana Jones trailer. Yeah, we can do that. First. Um, this is the because they just kind of threw that in there because they, it was they threw it in there. It's the newest tra- and obviously there's an uh, there's an obvious overlap being Lucas Films and everything, and obviously yeah. Harrison Ford's you know. I think he played Han Solo, I think. So having that in there is obviously Davis. important. Having that in there. <laughs> I think that was him. That was Warwick Davis. He's, Warwick Davis, and then, yeah. Yeah, and then he you played know, Willow. Well, he was Chewbacca. He played Willow. <laughs> he was Chewbacca. Don't, Ford. Can, we notice, <laughs> it's like, can we never mention Willow on this I podcast? I love how like, the, only three, like, uh, the only three properties that fucking Lucasville has are like Indiana Jones, which is like one, like four movies, yep. like Star Wars, and then yep. like Willow. It's, it's like and those it, are the three. Like, it's really kind of, like, okay, you know, we've talked like, about that before, like, it's you know, nothing else. It, it, it'll be interesting. Like George Lucas's impact on film is obviously cannot be, you know, diminished in yeah. terms of what he's done. Um, but really, in oh, yeah, many ways, based on just filmmaking in general, maybe not specifically yeah, on not movies. As, yeah. Like really, what he Behind did in the terms of stuff you're talking about, yeah, right? Like, like no, just just orga- structurally, organizationally, yeah. sci like the technical aspects. To be um, fair, he has a lot of revolutionary digital, things in many getting, aspects getting of Getting people to like, move to digital film, which it really changed the film industry in my mind because so much more, mm. uh, you know, was got, got done. There's a lot of, you know, like there was just so many things. So, I mean, obviously, like, and, and obviously, like, he's got properties that, that are huge. And, and so what, I'm not going to throw any shit at him. But uh, they threw in they threw in a trailer for Indiana Jones. And that was I think it's a better trailer, too. They the, the, this is um, yeah, the theme ahead. at the end is better, too. Like they do like the little dun, 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 like that little theme. Yeah. Like they they have like because I remember the first trailer, the one they had over the logo at the end was like really like, yeah, it, it wasn't good. Like right. it didn't fit, fit at all. But then this one, it felt better. And yep. I think the overall like vibe felt a lot more. Like the like, I think this one was more in tone with like the older films. Well, for those who don't know, um, Indiana Jones is my favorite. I mean, yeah. obviously, I love Star Trek. I love Doctor Who. Um, Star Trek was my first like real love of you know in in any type of fandom. Mm-hmm. Um, then obviously Star Wars, um, but never Star Wars never really kind of ever took over my my feelings over Star Trek. I still yeah. like Star Trek more, which is fine. You know, I don't. That that's just my choice. Yeah. But Indiana Jones, to me, is the greatest character of all time in mm-hmm. in this type of stuff. I I just can't think of a better character. I think it's like as an action character with like usually like because it's a it's a is Indiana Jones like I don't know how do you describe Indiana Jones as like what type of film is it a blockbuster at, oh, of the sure. time like is, yeah. Whereas like I is oh yes but not in the same way but not in the same way that like Star Wars was because Star Wars is almost like a bit like. I don't know if like because I don't I don't Indiana, describe, I don't describe Indiana, Raiders the original of the Lost Ark was yeah. a blockbuster. Yes. Okay, yeah, obviously, yeah. Because it was also Spielberg. <laughs> it and was stuff it too, was so. it was a top yeah. ten. 
it for a while. It was it never beat Star Wars, but it was always at one point. At one point, Harrison Ford in the but late. This, I, I, let me well, answer this question. No, but I, was, in, I think no, you're but I need to answer this question. Well, okay, in the, the to, to, before we go any farther, to, to make sure you understand the Indiana Jones franchise. In the 1980s, at one point, Harrison Ford was in. I want to say five of the top ten grossing movies well, yeah, that, up yeah. to that time in history. Like that's how that's how big. But that's not what Ford I'm asking. Was. I'm asking yeah. like, is like b- that movie's made with? Because again, when I say blockbuster, I don't mean like it made money. I when I say it was made as a blockbuster, there's a difference. Without like, a doubt, it was no, made no. Okay, as a so blockbuster. like, because I don't view. Like, as much as they are, I don't view the original, and maybe I'm an idiot for saying something like this. Like, maybe this is widely off the mark. Just because in the way they're filmed, in, like, the stylistic way that they are, not that I'm saying they're, like, the most deep stylistic way ever, but, like, the original trilogy of Star Wars movies doesn't, they don't feel like blockbusters to me. They're not made with, like, the, the storytelling. Like, there's a certain way that you make a blockbuster movie in times, like, Let's Star like a, Wars really brought back yeah. the concept of blockbuster. Okay, I don't know because I, I just don't like what some I, what people what say. I Star Wars is the original blockbuster. Uh, well, I think it's just well blockbuster. What does blockbuster mean? I don't know, but either way, blockbuster I, means that they're lined. Let me answer were, the question. Oh, but I think you're blockbuster missing, you're, means that rounds they literally line up around question, the block. You're missed, that's not my question. But that's what Star Wars was. Okay, it was not, a okay, blockbuster. Well, well, you're focusing more on like the the word. What, what, what I'm saying the word is, which is when you make a film like with like a I don't know I don't even know where we're like going off at to this point. Yeah. But like, i there's a okay a blockbuster to me is a film that's made like that's not meant to be like. It's meant to like make a lot of money. Yes. It and like usually in being the film industry, it means it's a weaker film. Or like it's a it's it's made in a way that dummies down ideas because it's a blockbuster. I think Indiana Jones doesn't do that while also achieving blockbuster like Niss. I don't think Indiana Jones is a stereotypical like block like there are blockbuster characters that are existent in multiple blockbusters. There are themes and like pacing and certain things that are in tone with Hollywood blockbuster mm. like making because well, as an idea of like of manufacturing the the blockbusterness of it. Sure. Like I don't see that in like I guess I don't know but my question was Indiana Jones. I, I guess it's like do you view that like Indiana Jones yes. as being made like that? Indiana in Jones mind? was made to be a blockbuster okay. by your definition of what a blockbuster is. Yes. Um it was I mean there's nothing yeah there's there's nothing like I think it feels I think though, to me I think it always felt a bit it feels separate from like it achieves like the like almost what a blockbuster seeks to achieve which often they do artificially it's a really through the things I just said but I think Indiana Jones does it differently and it's more it's better and like, there's I think more that's there's why... more plot present in Indiana Jones and, and like sense in the world than there is in most other like blockbusteries of that sure. action base that's what I'm that's more I think that's more what I'm trying to say I, I think here. I guess your point is um, it's fo- It's more focused. I than guess, a typical, and that's why like, I, that's a testament. That's a testament to Spielberg and the writing yeah. and the writers and the people that he put around them because they weren't just like the Arnold Schwarzenegger blockbuster or whatever other movies. Because I think were Indiana Jones out. is above like yeah. Die Hard in but, like in depth. Oh sure. Like I mean, like there's a lot of other like great and Die Hard's a good film, but and like it's a blockbuster as well. But I think Indiana Jones is an extra well, layer let me, of let me, like complexity. Let me take, let me or, inter- not, maybe not complexity. Let but. me let me let, let me take an interpretation of what it, what you're saying is, and I think that's just kind of, and I think this is a really good point. I never thought about this one before, so I commend you on having a different type of insight on the concept of the blockbuster because you're right. I think there was a little bit more going on in Indiana Jones story-wise, plot-wise, um, you know, the, the little bit of a statement that they're trying to make mm-hmm. versus what's going on in Die Hard. So that's a good comparison. Um, and I kind of think about it when Die Hard came out, as much as I love Die Hard, it's one of my favorite blockbusters, action movies. Um, it's not as deep. It's clearly, I think I remember being, well, this isn't like, yeah. this is the new Indiana Jones. Well, is it? There's something, again, the complexity of, of the Indiana Jones character is kind of cool there. Um, but let's get to the trailer. Yeah, but real so, quick, but my real quick, yeah. but I think for Star Wars, though, like, and this is kind of what I brought up, I think, like, for that first Star Wars movie, especially, like, A New Hope, like, yeah, that movie has a pretty decent-sized budget. Like, obviously not as big as the, like, the next two. But, um, like, there was no guarantee with that one, though. Like, so even though, like, that Star Wars movie ended up, like, becoming a blockbuster by, like, the definition of, like, it made the money of a blockbuster. Right. So I don't think the Star Wars was made, like, as a blockbuster because there would have been no way of knowing that you would have ever got those returns. Like on that movie, like that could, Star Wars could have been a flop for all they knew. Well, here's like, here's the point. I don't think 
that the concept of like I can be widely bu- off. No, but. you're 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 not off completely. I think, I think my growing definition up, of the words growing up in that time off, period, but. and 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 again, I was only ten when Star Wars came out. But when I think about when I've looked back on that period, and obviously I spent a lot of time, you know, looking at things from that time period. I st- like there weren't a lot of movies that did what Star Wars did prior to that. Um, you know, Jaws was big, The Godfather was big, and those are all around that same time frame, mm-hmm. Close Encounters. But none of them were as big as Star Wars. Um, and and obviously, The Godfather to, is it was not really thought was nobody thought it was going to do what it did. Yeah. Um, I mean, the directors did, but um, <laughs> they had high hopes that this was going to be an amazing thing. Um, I I think the studio didn't really expect it to be as big as they needed it to be. Yeah. If you watch um, the offer, I mean, you know, you know they didn't because yeah. again, you go and look at the like they've, there's all these jokes about over like of the the company that distributed Star Wars, and they were like, "Wow, this movie made so much money. We're gonna make a sequel and make so much money." It's like what George Lucas has has the rights. Like that's literally right. what happened. Like they didn't they didn't sign the rights. Like George Lucas right. was so smart with it that well, like he that, had to. And, and if they were smarter and realized what they had, they would never have let that happen. Well, I don't so, think a, a lot of people thought it was a Nietzsche. Like st- sci-fi had gotten kind of in a weird spot no, it, too. It, the seventies are weird. For sci-fi. Sci- sci-fi was a weird thing because like people kind of all thought it was Star Trek because Star Trek was the big thing. And, yeah. And you know you did that's have a very some, specific type it, of sci-fi. Yeah, like Doctor like, Who wasn't funded well. I mean, even in that point, even though it was huge, had a huge mm-hmm. fan base. The more science there were a lot of based, most. Like, the star, the star, the star, the star, uh, sci-fi stuff that was out there was very, very like trying to capitalize off the television popularity of Fran- you know, of Star Trek. You're star like Trek was real, being realistic, redeveloped, not realistic, but you're talking about more like technologically, like they didn't get any budget. Oh no, I, I know, I know that, but I'm saying like the sci-fi that was present was more like in like a like a techie sense, right? Like, is that, is it like, what it, it is the was, other stuff? I know Doctor was, Who is kind of fantasy, but like, it, what is, it what was is the stuff in around? Budget. It's just all low budget. It was budget, just low like, budget shit. But in the spirit of like Star Trek though? It was just trying to like take that like, lens but it, of sci-fi it, it didn't or try what? to take like, Star Trek, it didn't try to take Star Trek into what Star Trek does. It just mm-hmm. tried to take the concept of a spaceship. That's okay, all it so did. It's like yeah, I like see, guys yeah. in space. Like it wasn't. Mm. There wasn't any deepness to it. And I, I think see, that yeah. most people would agree that sci-fi, what Star Trek does well yeah. is having a deeper plot. I think what sci-fi does well is yeah. what it actually sci-fi has a more general. like. But most of the sci-fi of that early seventies yeah. was crappy Star Trek ripoffs mm-hmm. that really weren't, or it was like weird end of the world shit, like. Yeah. Like, you know, like movies where the aliens, like, 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 like the cars are, like, you know, like it's almost like cars like in the future. Stuff, yeah, like dystopian like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, end like, of the, like, like weird dystopian novels. And yeah. Stuff. I see. Like, like even Mad those. Max, which I don't remember yeah. exactly when the first Mad Max comes out. But that kind of concept I got you, yeah. of like really a dark future, and that's yeah. really what it was. But anyways, right. back yeah, to the should, Anna yeah, Jones. Talk about our actual back to the Anna Jones yeah. trailer, and sorry for that tangent. But again, I guess the point I was trying to get to was. For me, you know, when I hear all you guys talk about the things you liked growing up, whether it's Avatar or whatever it might be, the real Avatar, um, (laughs) those types of things, or, you know, Zach talking about Anakin Skywalker and all those kinds of things. For me, it's Indiana Jones. And I cried, literally welled up, and I didn't, like, bawl, but I literally started to get very misty-eyed, and I did, like, it... Because there's a line in the trailer where she says, the, the girl plays his stepdaughter, or, or, excuse me, daughter, goddaughter, uh, goddaughter yeah. says something to the effect like, this is your last chance for that last big, you know, adventure. And like mm-hmm. that hurt me because this is true. This is yeah. the last blockbuster for Harrison Ford. This is it for Indiana Jones. Whatever they decide to do with it, whatever, mm-hmm. there's never going to be another Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford. That's it. Like, that's it for me. You can recast James Bond. You can do all those things. Mm-hmm. But this is it. Harrison Ford is Indiana Jones is something special for me. So I hope they um, land it, too. I hope they land I, there's, it. If the trailer, if the movie is halfway as close as being good as the trailer – then I'm f- gonna be thrilled. Yeah. There's, I love what they're doing with it. Um, I miss, you know me. I have it's, some it's cool. Lu- it's Lucasfilm. I don't trust Lucasfilm. Well, but, like, but I, I have I, a lot of faith. Good, I, have, I have no. I'm gonna go. I'm going into that one with no. I have uh, a lot of faith in the director. Yeah. I, I like Mangold. Like I have no problem with Mangold. Because what he's but, um, done. Look, what's some movies that he's done? 
Uh, there's the one race car one yep. uh, that I forget the name of. There's the, Logan. Logan. The the Wolverine. The Wolverine. Uh, I'm probably missing one, but those and, two are the two main ones. And uh, some great, and, and obviously some really good movies. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, um, I think they've got the right director, which is why, again, Spielberg, no, Spielberg got out of it. Like, he purposely said he didn't have the energy at this mm-hmm. point in his life to be doing it. He didn't want to do it just to do it because he felt that the movie, like, was owed a better commitment than he yeah. felt that he could do i mean he's been involved he's with it he's a producer but he he's just knew that he shouldn't be directing yeah. it um i think that he kind of knows that he made a bunch of mistakes on the last one so you can tell in this film they've gotten away from uh, the heavy C- obviously there's a lot of cgi yeah. but you can see harrison Ford riding a horse you can see him like it and obviously the technology's come a long way even since and the thing that really they're, they're really moving into is this. We've talked about this before, is how they're doing this new tech week where they're literally using old footage and not just like, what do you call it, like well, you're, the de-aging. Well, you're just feeding. I think if I remember correctly, it's like an algorithm almost. Yes. Like it, you just feed. And because you they just, have so much footage. Yeah, you just footage. feed all the, like, all the old footage of his yeah. face. And I don't, I don't, you might have to crop it and like specifically like, yeah. identify like that. Like, obviously, like, the face part of the... I but, like, guarantee They can just you, upload hours yeah, and hours yeah. and hours and of they, footage and be, of and actors be, and then recreate them. And like, because that's when he was the most popular actor in the world for a little while, yeah. for a few minutes there. Like, he did a bunch of movies right in that time Well, there's people right like, selling their rights to their, like, image. Like, right. like I remember, I think, like, Michael Douglas was talking about this, like, in an interview, like, at some one point where he's like, yeah, I'm going to sell the rights to my like image when I die. So I'm like, so like, is that just mean they can just scan like every movie you've ever been in? Pretty and much. And they're just going to make you like, yep. they're going to put men starring dead Michael Douglas yep. 300 years after I mean, who death. knows? I mean, like, it's like, I mean, okay, like, all right. it's, it's not, like, make some money, give it to your family, I guess. It, okay. It's, like, it's yeah, not like, like whatever. Why not? it's not, it's not like crazy to see that, that, that we're not going to get to films like anyways. So no, I was anyway, thrilled. I'm, thrilled, about this stuff, I'm yeah. thrilled with the trailer. I think it's super excited. The way they'd use the music was really good. Like you already mentioned that. Mm-hmm. Um, give them hell, Indiana Jones. Well, John, and like, more John Williams. You know, so, like the John Williams is back. I mean, everything seems to be done right. The humor looks like it's really there. Yeah, humor I, looks more on par um, with like I, the. I mean, yeah. and I, but I think like again, and I'm going to give you my real quick. Fan I was looking. Theory. At, I was looking out for like sequel yeah. era. That's what I was like. I was like, is there any like sequel trilogy? You know that like really right. out of place. Like modern humor that like shows up in all Lucas's weird Lucas films, like b- actual films. Right. Uh, like I was like just looking out for that. Like, yeah, it'll be. And interesting. I didn't see that. Y- like. Yeah. Because again, they clearly will put it in anything because they put it in a galaxy far, far away. So they'll put it in fucking yeah. like nineteen seventies Indiana. So anyways, Jones, so they feel like it yeah, as well. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be great. Um, there'll be people that are mad no matter what. Cause no, people, there are people, people that are going to hate jerks. no matter what on it. But, um. Uh, what you know, like, but I, I think they've really done well. I mean, I, I definitely think the Dial of Destiny is some type of time travel device. He's gonna travel back in time. <laughs> I don't um, think, is he, it, he's going time. to have to go back in time. And my theory is that they're gonna find a way to do something like they did in Endgame, where he ends up having to travel back in time. Is that like jumping the shark, though? No, because I think... I know they already put fucking aliens in this damn franchise. I, I think but that... Like, can I they not think, do that again? Isn't I that like doing aliens again? I, no. Like, yes, I I, think, yes, it is. What do you mean? No, because I think <laughs> they're going to do it... I think they're going to do it justice by doing it the way Endang get it, where they made it fun. Where it like fits in it like fits something in. from like an old it, movie It or fits something, in where like, it's almost faking fun of the franchise a little bit, okay. like when Cap runs into yeah. himself. Like, there's a, there's a neat aspect of it. I don't think he's going to run into himself. Himself. Yeah. I think it's going to be very behind the scenes where they have to go back well, and do something. I think the something. train thing, well, well, to be fair, like, because uh, we didn't know who, like, the goddaughter was of. Right. And it seems to be it, not the guy, from, like, I think a lot of people just assumed it was going to be the guy from the. I thought it was going to be Brody. From the I thought it was going to be Brody. Right? I thought it was going to be his president, be, the president of the college's daughter. But it doesn't seem to be but that. But it's it not. It seems no. to be this uh, newer guy. I forget yes. the guy's actor. He's like a German actor or Austrian actor. I forget one of the two. Uh, he was in like he was in he was uh, he's he's in, in literally in the exact same scene that he was in like he's basically been the same character right. from like Captain America one. This is going to Except be a new he's, character. He's, he seems to be a bit more sympathetic in this. I this guess. is going to be a new character that we didn't have before. So they're telling like they, I think so a part of this movie like the, like that train sequence like in the snow like in the like Nazi right. like like Europe whatever like I think that's going to be in the middle of World War Two. What which people don't realize, see, you're right, and like, you, you brought Jones that up in at home. World War Two. Yeah. We've 
in and around because even like Raiders and uh, Raiders is before the, the United States before. is before the Raiders is before the United States is in World War Two. The Raiders is before like the war itself. Even Raiders is like the 1934, 1935, yeah. right? That's and like then in even the middle of, that's and like even his rise then, of and even Germany Last Germany Crusade, stuff. the United States is still not in. And that's closer. Last Crusade yeah. is much closer. Well, Last Crusade again the year the war for those started. for again for people that don't know, if you look at the Raiders of the Roast in terms of the timeline, the way the movies take place, obviously yeah. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull takes place much later but it's technically temple of doom then raiders in the 20s yeah then well not i, I forget the years i think i want to say like i feel like there's something like i feel it's something like 32 36 39 temple of doom yeah temple of doom might be 32 i think you i feel like right. it's early 30s then then 36 and then like 1939 i i'm probably have it wrong but you know and I'm not even sure if in the Last Crusade they actually say what year it takes okay, place. Okay, so in. Raiders is 36. I said that. Temple of Doom is 35. Okay, only one year before. Okay, okay. Interesting. And they don't think they ever say exactly when Last Crusade takes place. I think you can assume it's probably like 39. Right, it, it, it's before it's not, the war isn't. Going, it's a few years again. Later. They're in Europe, yeah. and during that war, yeah. and they're not like there's a war going on, right? Well, yeah, the war's going on. Is it? Um, in, in Germany, there is in Crusade. I know that there's Nazis that have like bases and stuff, but that is there a well? When did like, when is, did, did they, they inv- when did they invade France? Let's see if there's when did the Ger- when did Germany invade France? Not to like thirty. Well, what, actually, I don't even know. Like thir- like forty, like nineteen forty, nineteen forty one, maybe. So it had to be, and that's why I'm saying it's like nineteen thirty nine. Maybe not, maybe not. yeah, I'm checking. Right. I'm saying it's pre the, the invasion of, of of France before the official start of the war. I I would think you're right. I'm checking. One sec. But either way, so, like I think that they're doing it right. 1938. I still don't quite understand. Film is set largely in 1938. Okay, okay so that I makes co- sense. I, yeah, it's that's before. It's I was still close before then. the war kicks off the year yeah. after that. I guess so. I never. So I think definitely, like we're going to see what's what he was up to during. We kind of heard a little bit about it in Crystal Skull that he was like a war hero. That you know, like we know that he was a I war think hero. Should, no, I think like he's retrieving the Nazis. Remember, remember how many artifacts and just shit like that Nazis stole. That was a real thing. That's a too. real thing. There's so, movies like, about. It. No, there's real movies about it. Yeah. yeah, like that was a big thing that they plundered a lot of the yeah. like, like they took stuff from France. They took like uh, they took stuff from their own yeah. museums. They took from stuff from every place yeah. they went. So like a, maybe like Indy is like gonna be like he's, he, I imagine that whatever he's doing, even did he fight in the war? Or was My he feeling like, is that he was he like a special weird, forces like, kind okay. of thing. I mean that makes sense because like, that was yeah. kind of like that's kind of they talk about and they can't. They're not going to like retrieving artifacts because in Crystal stuff, Skull like they talk stolen. about what him and the the whatever the guy the, the Jonesy that guy, yeah, that guy like yeah. that those two worked together during World War Two. So we're not going to see him obviously, mm-hmm. but I think we're going to see. I a think we're going to see that, a little yeah. bit of what. Which, that's cool. That, he that's was a, cool a war concept, hero. Like which that, was which is which I think is what they like they wouldn't. For he wouldn't forces. be invading yeah. D Day. Like they're no, not going to yeah. send him on a back of a boat. He's he's a highly no, educated they, yeah, he's college very highly professor, educated, especially with yeah. like in um yeah. like so I imagine like even like counterintelligence, especially considering right. like the amount of like like an artifacts that right. like because that was a weird like major part of like the Nazi operation was like yeah. collecting artifacts because yeah. there was a weird mystic side of the Nazis as well that we don't really talk about because it's weird and fucking well, psychotic. And but. I do think that that was, and I always loved that about um, I mean, it's kind of Raiders of the Lost Ark. I, about. I like, loved Raiders of the Lost Ark and you just hit on it. Like he said, you know, Hitler, when, when the two CAA guys, the FBI guys show up at the college in the beginning of the movie, he's yeah. like, you know, uh, Hitler's obsessed with the occult. You know, he's got guys running around all over, looking at all kind of crazy that's artifacts. That's true. That's not made up. Like, like, that's you real know, shit. And that's like, why I think Raiders hits... Raiders, La- Raiders and Last Crusade both hit because they're based on a lot of, you know, like obviously they, they take a lot of freedom with it. Mm-hmm. But a lot of what happens is all theoretically believable within the context of religion. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the Ark is a real thing. It's not like they didn't well, make yeah, up a fictional a thing. Of, yeah, and, right. and the concept of it being taken to Tannis is a real thing. It's one of the theories behind what happened to the Ark of the Covenant. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, yeah, you know like the Blair, and I think much, when you it's, base it's in that reality, when of, you like, base stuff the, in the reality, the, it yeah. makes mm-hmm. it feel a lot instead of like 
that's why even like the Dal of Destiny seems a little bit of a reach. Well, it's again like Goebbels, like Hitler's like right hand guy, who's like some is might even be like considered worse, like in the grand scheme of things. Like yeah. that dude, like was fucking like believed in all some right, of let's, crazy you're shit. You're right. Like you're right. No, that's for sure. No, when it came to like like the occult of like magical yeah. powers and like yeah. like like there's like and not to mention there was all these like some of the. Like the expeditions, because the 1930s had like these Nazi expeditions to like like we saw in like raiders to like Egypt and like stuff. Like they had people in like Nepal, like yeah. they like looking for like crazy Can shit. Can I mention? I like, want to mention something. Looking for too. Atlantis off the coast of Africa. This is the genius, like, and this is this is the genius of George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Yeah, and whoever else. I think Lord, I can't think of Lord Kasdan. Kasdan, Kasdan, whatever helped yeah. write the scripts too. I'd have to go back. And I think but here's the interesting right. thing about raiders. If you think of the the old movie serials from the 30s that like grandpa went to watch at you know all the niagara falls theaters that you go see these movie shorts about yeah. all these like because obviously raiders is influenced by all the, those movie se- you know s- serials that would come out every week yeah and but and in a lot of those movies yeah. they were looking for like the the lost you know mask of death or yeah, whatever very, and and yeah. it was interesting that when they sat down and developed Raiders of the Lost Ark as a concept that they kind of took this concept kind of. and it's like we're going to do the serials and if you watch the movie it's even broken up so it has very specific action sequences designed based on like if you were watching a movie like you could break that movie up and watch it in sections that's what in the, a movie that's what theater the map things for yeah. That's what the map... That's yeah, the map well, that was a throwback to that, too. But even yeah. if you think about the way the movie's broken up and the time right sequences, mean, yeah. mm-hmm. he did that on purpose. But then he said, or they all said, but now let's actually have them looking for something that's really fucking real. And that is kind of scary because it is a real thing that's out there, theoretically, if you believe in that sort of thing. Yeah. All right, so great. Go see it. I'm excited. Now let's move on to the fun part of today's oh, yeah. show. Which is like, okay... Right. So they had a panel discussion, correct? Well, they, they had no, several well, panel well, discussions. Well, Tower Celebration is, is, keep in mind, is four days. Yes. Um, it was like Friday through like Monday, I think, like, I like believe, at yeah. the beginning of this week. Uh, and yeah, they, so we, the, they announced everything pretty early. Like most of the major announcements came rather early in like on yeah. the first day, I think they did a big announcement. Like the first, like for instance, um, like I think that first day they just kind of did like a lot of, Almost all the shows that have come out within right. the recent like <laughs> years have got got like a panel. There was like a Bad Batch panel. There right. was like Andor panels. Obi Wan. So like, Bad Batch was announced. They got one more season. That's it. We know that. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I was gonna say that actually. Yeah, Bad Batch third and final season. Which hopefully I think that's right. not the end of that animation <clears throat> style. I assume that it just gets moved on to something else because that animation style is far too popular and they've sunk far Man, too much money into good. it. And it's, and it's so, so good. fucking good. So really I think that's good. just the. I think that is just the. I think Visions, besides Visions, which is obviously like a weird little side project that they're doing, which right. I, has its place. I think that the Clone Wars animation style, I don't think they've officially said this, but I think that's just like the Disney animation style now. Right. I hope. Like, because again, like, <clears throat> I would love, to, I would fucking love to see original, like, trilogy designs in Clone Wars, like, animation. Sure. Like, they haven't done that. I, yeah. I, I assume the last season of Bad Batch we're going to get a little bit because I think we're going to get, like, the first Star Destroyer is going to be like like the like the the unveiling of the Star Destroyer is going to be sure. like happen in the third season of Bad Batch, I assume. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna get a little bit of like those designs, but like I wonder what I want, but, really, but like a like, Luke Skywalker, mm-hmm. like what would a Luke Skywalker like Clone Wars like a uh, like Style. model look like? What would like Han Solo look like in Clone Wars? I, model? I, I like, think it'd be really interesting if they you can do were between to like do... four and five. Like there's three years between. Clearly, there. there's a lot of stuff that happens in the Star Wars universe. Mm-hmm during the original trilogy between episodes four and six. So, yeah. and there's books about them and some of those books were yeah. not between very, four and five. There's three years between there's five and of, six. There's yeah. one. So, so, I mean, I, I think a lot of us, and here's the thing. Um, I think, I think this makes sense for bad batch though. I don't think there's much, sto- I think no, like they I, can do the if, story. If like, they in jump this last ahead, season, like, if they jump ahead, to they're doing kind another of time. That, I think they showed a little bit of footage and it does seem that there is another, Older uh, Omega's model does seem to be again changed, which I like that each season Omega's right. been older, which is I like when cartoons actually like, you know, like account for the aging of their like characters, right. which is why I like I said with Soka, like literally well, changes Rebels outfits and gets older. Well yeah, with Ezra ends up being get a bit older as the yeah. series goes along. Um, um, and I, I guess Kane definitely. and changes look as well. But yeah. uh, I mean, I definitely, I definitely think that, but I if they kind of bring back another 
you know, Star yeah. Wars animation show, animated series. Yeah. Something will really I would definitely love take it to be place, I would love it to be during um the Luke Skywalker era. Yeah. And even if it was theoretically about Luke Skywalker. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like and cuz let's be honest, if you did that and you got Mark Hamill <laughs> mm -hmm. to voice the character. It's not like he doesn't do voice character. You know, yeah, he, he might be able to do a younger version of himself. You don't know. They can. There's lots of software mm -hmm. now that they can make him sound a little bit younger. And I mean, hey, they used Sigourney Weaver and turned her into a 12 year old in, in Avatar <laughs> Two, yeah, that supposedly, which, which we still haven't seen, which uh, ironically. Great. But so, <laughs> all right. So okay. Uh, otherwise, um, I think they said Tales of the Jedi. Tales of the Jedi is coming back. They too. didn't give characters. No. Uh, no, they were kind of. But they vague said there would be that. some new people, though, right? I think they said that. Uh, yeah, I misread the original post. Yeah, um, they said I might focus on some new characters, which right. I think tells the Jedi got real. I think tells the Jedi must have got good viewership, because I don't see there would have been no reason for them really to like waste time doing another smaller thing like this unless it did. Right. So I think like again, the the start with that animation style is again brought in more viewership than like. Uh, like, I think that animation style attracts people to it. Like, I think, like, when Clone Wars came back, it got, like, a like for that one season, like, it got a lot of viewership as well. well I, what I so, think now is that, that decent viewership there was well, a too. lot of people, and we've talked about this before, I think we're talking about it on the other, on the other Star Wars podcast, mm -hmm. is that um, there was a lot of people that really didn't really care for Clone Wars because that first movie that came out that went to the theaters yeah. that really people didn't like. And they like, wrote it off until they eventually got And then, got then, the then first now seasons, then it's like, oh, kind of yeah. got now people like like me years later, many years later, got into it, and even now are finishing Rebels. Like now, I've got what five episodes left ridiculous to go. To think that, but like, I think there's so many fans mind, like, that have shouldn't... gone into that, yeah. and that even when we we'll get to there's the like Ahsoka 18, thing, like I've seen 18 different like YouTube like right. essays, which like I should like uh, people told me to watch Clone Wars, and I didn't, and right. then I did, and it's good. It's yeah. like, but it's I'm, like, yeah, I'm, I'm that like, guy. Yeah, I'm no, that guy. Fair, like it's not. I don't watch cartoons. Most of the time, cartoons like aren't like that. And that's the point. Is it's not a cartoon? Shouldn't be as good as it is realistically it's not a cartoon like, it's an animated series and i know it's semantics and it's, and it's unique semantics. too in the way like they do the arcs and then you're able to i watch that i'm like this is not stuff. a kid's show yeah that was a kid's show yeah but that's not a kid's show like mm -hmm. what well, that just happened there is not in a kid it's not when doesn't happen in a kid's show starts to deal with a much more heavier i think like, that filoni definitely stuff. understands like how to do understands the concept of japanese animation and yeah. how to make like how you can just tell great stories through this medium That's it's like, like it's like when you yeah. talk to it's funny like i have friends that are art teachers and it's funny because you know what they hate they hate that little kids use crayons mm -hmm. not because they're creating art but because then everybody thinks that crayons are only for little kids yeah. although you can do amazing work art with crayons yeah. But as a culture, we've decided that crayons are for little kids. Mm -hmm. But it's almost the same thing. Like, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. You know, like crayons are a really cool medium of stuff to work with. But we like we waste it on yeah, we waste change, it yeah. on children, <laughs> like because they don't make a mess. Mm. So <laughs> that's kind of like yeah, yeah. the weird kind of funny thing about it. And I think that we almost look at cartoons. Yeah, it's not yeah, there's like, stereotypes associated yeah. with cartoons. I mean, Rebels is like, a little bit more cartoony yeah, I mean, in the that first was the couple Disney seasons, era as well, though, but not so. when he gets to season four. That's that's like Clone Wars. Yeah, season four, they let him do what they want. Three like, and a, it's halfway through season three. We're almost done with three, season four now. Too, ha halfway so. through season three, it it is more like Clone Wars than it's more like Disney X or yeah. whatever that season four XD especially is like. Oh, this is like Clone, I think season four Rebels besides like some of the jokes and like stuff because I think Rebels is more jokey than well, Clone yeah, Wars. Well, yeah, because Chopper um, is just ridiculous. Yeah, and I think like and I, <laughs> and like all of the like yeah, and, and to be fair, like even in like uh, uh, what's it called? God, like, I love Chopper. Like even in like Clone Wars, like. A lot of time, and they do this in uh, cartoons where like the villains are the comedic relief by being like bad at their jobs, and like that, and they do that with, and they, it works better. Let's say like with the B one battle droids, sure, who are like just like these really Roger, cheap, Roger. yeah, who are like cheap, and then none of the other. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. And then none of the other droids are stupid either, though. Like right. the other droids, like they get they can get bodied easily, but they're not dumb. Like they're right. at least like they're like focused. Whereas like right. everyone in Rebels who's not like Thrawn is a fucking idiot. Like <laughs> well, like, even what's what's the guy like, all the Imperial Agent Callus. Yeah, Ka like, oh, to be fair to Callus, Agent Callus starts Kallus off. Learns. He still yes. gets beat, but every time he gets like one up by the, the what's it called? He does learn and adapt. They just happen to one up him again. Like and he, but by the season two, he starts to warn I other guys. Have, like you guys can't take them like lightly. They're I, gonna beat I, you. I, They're I gonna get one, away. I, yeah, that's. I like when he gets starts. Also, getting cells to that don't point. exist in like, like locked doors. Don't exist in rebels. Like they have they have, they have no purpose at all. Like, well, like Chopper Ezra, just can unlock them anyway. So Ezra, Ezra can unlock them. 
by him just like his mind, apparently, because Ezra has escaped every room he's ever been locked in yeah. in the series. So, <laughs> well, there's the yada yada. Well, there's the you and I had the funny conversation that every door in Star Wars. I love this. This is the best. This is my favorite part of Star Wars. Actually, works unironically based on if, if you destroy the controls. Yeah. They all work if, whether it's open the or opposite yeah. of whatever. If the door is open. Exactly what you, you need it to do. And you shoot the door. It closes. And like the door panel. Then but, it if closes. You, <laughs> but if the door's fucking closed and you shoot the panel, that shit's going to open now. It's like, <laughs> it is yes. Not gonna, and it won't I go the to, other way. I'm it's going to, after that. I'm going to, like, ignore any type of <laughs> logic. No, but I love that about Star Wars. I love that, yeah. like, there's there's incredibly, like, things that I am nitpicky on. Yeah. But then we also could have, like, incredibly stupid, like, in-universe things. Like, that's how doors work. Like, yeah. occasionally. Like, that's been, like, it's. It's Ever consistent. It's, yes. it's happened all across no, all the no, stuff. No, it's no. consistent. It's, guy, it's man, consistent you know? by being inconsistent. That's the best way to describe yes, it. Because it's not consistent. No, no, no. If it's open. No, no, this is very consistent. If the door's open, you shoot the panel. It closes. If the door is closed, shoot the panel. It open. That's consistent right there. Who's designing the door <laughs> mechanisms in that fucking universe? No, that's, that's perfect. I don't know is that the Carillions? I don't see any problem with that. There's one company that designed the doors, there's and they just suck five, at it. There's the yeah, the, you know. Uh, I'm know. sure I'm missing a different planet as well. But Shulk or whatever that. Corelli is the main yeah. shipbuilder one that I yeah. can think of. All the time. I think Kuat, Kuat, Kuatra. Yeah, Kuat's. I think it's a planet. Yeah, I, I'll go with that. I think, I think is Kuat the. All right, really well, let's start. I'm, I'm going let's too start. Deep into my can let's start. Do you want to start with something awful? Want to start with something positive? Did we already we already started with Bad Batch. And, all right, so we did Bad Batch. We Ahsoka. kind of talked about. Um, let's get into Ahsoka. I don't want to get. Uh, no, I'll do this quickly. We'll do this because uh, this sounds really good. It looks great. Yeah, and it gave us what we wanted because we're getting a lot of the rebels back. Mm-hmm. Whether we saw, we already saw Zeb, and now we're seeing something that we're really excited about. Yeah, I, I was already Ahsoka. excited for this, so like this trailer helped. But uh, like I was going to be excited for it anyway. Uh, there interesting things I will point out uh, from this trailer. I, I don't know. It's weird going over the trailers. Uh, this is in August. I was happy we got a release date finally. Yeah. Um, well, not an official one, but at least we know it's coming in August. It's getting the Andor window, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Ahsoka looks good. I think her they made her things longer, which people were bitching about in like <laughs> early on. Uh, her leku, whatever the stupid little head tentacle things are. Right. Uh, obviously, they put Sabine in there. Like we had live action version of Sabine, which I think looks the the part. We yep. she got long hair, which we've never really seen Sabine with. Right. And also, like um, part of that trailer includes which we've all we've heard about, and I think I'd seen some images of before that. Like there's this last shot of we you haven't seen it yet but there's this last like minute of like rebels essentially that takes place like after like the original trilogy where you see like Sab- like Sabine like an older version of Sabine and then like Ahsoka shows up and like there's and like part of that is seen like in the trailer like it's like shot for shot from like Rebels okay. um but in that scene there like they're, they're gonna go <clears throat> f- off and like find Ezra or whatever uh she has like shorter hair and like uh which uh, there was another shot that I don't think is in this trailer that shows like uh the actress in the armor and that looks good uh, they also showed like a loth cat, like a yeah. but a but a very different version because we've seen one in Mando uh, that looks a lot like the which was basically just like a real life animated version of like the one from Rebels right. with like the big round head and shit. And yeah. this one looks a little bit more like physical. I think that's a puppet. Right. Otherwise, we got Hera and Chopper, uh, which they announced like Hera's actress, which I'm blanking on at the moment. It's I think she, she looked great. I think she dates Ewan McGregor, but uh, <laughs> it's like. A, yeah, actually, she she yeah, like I think yeah, they're so, actually married. Actually, uh, they might be married. Okay, no. Kate uh, Kate Wynn. Because somebody that was a, that was a that was a uh, thing on on Twitter or meme or something. Yeah, where some where it's like, wait it. a second, Sabim's married to Obi Wan. Yeah. Like somebody was no, like yeah, super. Hera, yeah, Harry Hera, Hera, Elizabeth Hera. Winstead. Yeah. yeah, like everybody's like, all right, this which, is which again, great. Which she's kind of been attached to that role, or at least been leaked right. for like months at this point. So she was like, well, it's kind of been leaked. She let, <laughs> she mentioned it after. I think, I think after, like, you will cast my wife as. <laughs> Hera. I think his daughter's in one movie as well. Actually, yeah, I think his daughter's was. in like Obi Wan at some yeah, point. I think she she? Was. Yeah, well, You know what? I want a real quick, quick side story, which I didn't realize. Uh, you know, on Star Trek Picard, hmm. that they introduce uh, Jordy's daughters. Yeah. One of them is his actual fucking daughter. Oh really? Yeah. Which one? The one that was like <laughs> the, the younger the, the, the one, the quieter one, the younger one. 
The main character? The one? main character, I think, I mean, unless I got it backwards, but one of them is his actual daughter. Oh, okay. Which it, is like, all right, that's why cool. Why it was the, main, the one cool. that's more of a, a more of a character? Because obviously one of them is much more of a, a character Well, I think the, the other. other one's an actress. They're both actors. No, 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 but I mean, like, within Picard, like, the right. one that's, like, as a bit of a thing with, like, right. Jack. Like, yeah. uh... Like, I don't... I might have like, got Like, that it, one's yeah. a bit more, like, of a character within the story right. where than the other one who kind of just follows, she's like... Just kind of... Yeah, yeah it might be that one, but who cares? It might be that one, because, like, that would be a bit more, like, cameo-y. Yeah, definitely. So... But anyway, though. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, and obviously, I've grown very fond of Chopper. So the fact that we yeah, you saw love Chopper, Chopper. Like, uh, man, I've just got way too much. I fucking love, love Chopper. For, I, you know, I'm one and of those guys. He looks good. He looks good. Like they've killed the, the fact role, that his like, head, his head rocks, and that his body shakes. Yeah, there's like there's only that, one shot of him in this trailer when he's like in the little like yeah. uh, astromech uh, right. yeah. like hole that they have, and like he, he has his little arms out and everything, and like it's just like a second shot. And I'm like, how the fuck did they nail that thing? That thing's well, mannerisms. the arms. We already decided like, the arms have got to be very, CGI. He has very cartoony mannerisms. Oh, you know for what I mean? Sure. Like yeah. like Chopper should yeah. not work nearly as well as he does in live action. And they brought the droid out, and the droid does it in, like all sorts of the weird like shake movements that like yeah. like the growling and like yeah. rumbling movements that like. Well, they designed his head so that his head yeah. is not he's quite a chaotic. He's the most chaotic so boy. So the, like, the head can yeah, shake like shapes without, back and forth. Like you can see the way they did it. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, people were picking obviously on. his voice is, D- is Dave Filoni. Well, yeah, like, yeah, like, and then <laughs> that he's got, and the wheel looks good. Mm-hmm. Like the wheel looked really good. Yeah, the, so yeah, yeah, if but they the can, robot looks good. The, yeah. the, the, yeah. They're going to have to do something. They captured his aura. They're like, gonna have to. Yes, they definitely did. They're gonna. His arms are gonna have to be. You know, the the arms the, are definitely CGI. They're gonna have to like, CGI. I always have no doubt. And at some point, they're gonna have to do the thing where he rolls on the one leg, and that's gonna have to be done with some type. He needs of, to beat someone up. You know, like if he doesn't beat someone up in live action, oh, like I'm, that, I'm gonna I, fucking riot. I, I will predict that will happen in the first time we to, see like, him. He needs to torpedo someone. We were gonna definitely see to, that. In <laughs> he the first needs to fucking thing. like turn his rocket I, I just, on there's, and run there's into someone like in Rebels when all the the freaking Mandalorians are flying, and he's just cruising with them with his little. Rocket, which is like Chopper, War Hero, War Hero, terrorist. I love how like I love how R two and like Chopper get treated as like Clone Wars vets, like within yeah. within canon. Like it's like yeah, they, they, they literally scene, gave Chopper PTSD. Where, yeah, there's a scene where like he's they go got back Pete, to he won't get into a spaceship <laughs> because it reminds no, him of same, crashing in a Y wing. No, it's the same model. It's yeah, a Y wing. I don't want to be in a Y wing. Yeah, he didn't want to go you. in a Y wing yeah. because he had crashed in a Y wing during like, the Clone Wars. Like the and then they show the Y wing because like, yeah. like, Kara's dad left <laughs> like, it in the compound uh, as like a memorial, uh, and he just sits there and he's like he's shook by looking at the thing he crashed in. Like he just sits there for five minutes of the story. I think like, the trans. I think the line if we could find that is probably Dave Lund playing Cook, and I'm not getting into that thing. There are also certain times where like almost 100 percent like like choppers just swearing yeah like and they just muffle it like yeah. they're just uh, yeah. like not all the time yeah. and sometimes it just beeps but very often like they just have chopper like si- like whoever like this have dave filoni yeah. just say like a sentence and then they just well, rubber, rubber, like, well, muffle that, it that's like, it but and even in the amanda episode the little the little creature things what are they called uh the the little fixing the creatures. only good thing that was created yeah. from and, the bed baby the Enzelans. no hug me bed the baby Enzelans, which are literally which i well, i won't like go out on a limb here. I think the Anzellans are probably the only a p- positive addition to canon in the entirety of episode nine. I think they those little things sure. might be the only thing in that movie that like is like a decent addition to canon. Okay, like and that's it. <laughs> like, that's but I, it. I'm pretty sure that he said I'm I'm getting the fuck out of here. But like when he was walking away, like along when when Grogu said, was going baby, this way, no squeeze me, no squeeze me, bad baby. And then he says, "I'm getting the fuck out of here." Like I'm pretty sure yeah, that that I he said. He said that. If 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 you go back and watch it, I'm pretty sure he's sw- like it was like I'm fucking out of here. He said, "Don't squeeze me." Or no, but then he says that. something else as he's wandering away. Uh, I don't know. Like man. I guarantee it was something really like over the top like know, that. Man. Those things are funny. Those things are funny though. All right, so we're excited about Ahsoka. Oh, uh, yeah, Ahsoka's fun. Uh, anything and else? we see... Well, real quick, there's two villains gotta, in that. We see... Well, we announced... We see Thrawn from behind. Yeah, and we announced... And that, we announced who the well, actor who the is, which actor? everybody's super uh, excited Mads about. Mad- who's also another another Mickelson, yeah. right? Yep. Uh, if I remember correctly. One of the many Mickelsons. Because Mads Mickelson was, what, Galen Urso, and yeah. now Lars Mickelson will be playing Thrawn. We're playing the whole so. freaking... We got uh, making sure all the family works. Uh, and obviously, in the last episode of Mando, really tied into I think some things that are going to be going forward. In we'll talk, we might we might get into this, we might not. Um, but even the last episode of Mando, was, they introduce um, Thrawn's uh, I forget Paleon, ca- ca- uh, like Captain or Admiral Paleon. Pa- 
Yeah, whatever. Paleon, I think his name sure. is. So like, or, or Pelion, I think is the name. Who's like right out of like the, the what's it called? The Heir to the Empire trilogy. Um, he even has a voice. He gets a voice cameo in Rebels right. at some point. And but they like, announce. And they kill him. Like, he's he's perfect. He looks exactly like the artist work and like right. the graphic novel version of that. Um, and even his personality is like like spot on. Well, so and they announced. Cool. And they announced Wes Chapman from The Expanse, who plays Amos on The Expanse, who's one of our favorite actors. Yeah, isn't something. He's <laughs> coming in as playing something to do with Thrawn. So I think he's going to be a new character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think he's going to be kind of like the physical. Speaking of which, we have these two orange. The infysical and orange saber wielding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like characters who yeah. looks like some sort of Sith thing. Um, and the, again, there that, are some leaks. That older dude that. looks really good. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah uh, the, he, he looks like a Game of Thronesy name? kind of yeah, character. He looks like, like I, what I described him as was, was like a, the Hound in like yeah. Game of Thrones. Like he's like a big knight. Like a cross like between like, the Hound or one of those guys that were like the Hand, like or the Captain of the Guard, like one of those yeah. kinds of characters that are like just. Badass old timer Ray with a big Stevenson. Sword. Ray yeah. Stevenson's like that he guy. looks he really good. He reminded me of like a really just a big knight, like clad in armor, who has yeah. like a bigger broadsword. Because right. he kind of like is even like when right. they like connect their sabers, like you see like Ahsoka like kind of put her legs back like onto the thing behind her, so she's like using like the rock or whatever she's bouncing off of. And even in that scene, I don't. There is a weird like thing around her, which I don't know if that's <laughs> like a projected thing, but otherwise it looks very very similar to something that we're going. to to see in Rebels, which is uh, again, you haven't got to the end of Rebels. You know, it better a little not bit, be. You know, a little, you know a little bit about this, but I already kind of know. Actually, you know a little bit. What's I know. Happen. I haven't seen it, but I know enough. We've talked about it coming. before. Like but I know what's coming. Like it's funny because I, when I so I watch. And people the episode, are acting like they're not approaching that, and that's not what this is about. But I'm like, the, I'm looking at imagery in this trailer that directly correlates right. to like one of the most weirdest like like universe breaking like concepts that was ever been added to Star Wars right. which is something that's coming up in the Well the and I already know what this is, and I know what this is by the way so it's not like you know, I don't think we have to worry about spoilers. Don't yeah. tell me anything, because but also David Tennant's in this. They have the fucking David void from the Clone robot. Wars. Uh, yeah. Hugh Yang, or whatever the fuck it's called. They what brought, does he say? It's time to get. What it's does he time say? to. What, what, what does he say? He says even that like, is like got got my my time to reconsider or something. Like he says, time to begin. It's time to begin again or something. Yeah, like, like time to begin. Time again. for the Jedi to begin yeah. again or something. I don't even know. Something like that. Like something weird. And somehow, uh, and also like another, somehow, the other, Ahsoka came yeah. back. <laughs> and then there's also the other uh, the other. Orange wielding uh, like saber, which his orange sabers look a little weird, but I'm sure that's fine. It's how did like, how did Finn uh, Ivana? How did S- Finn, Sanko. who was trained by at a star, he was a stormtrooper, not know in canon that. Uh, could fly. Stormtroopers could fly because I'm not even in that universe, and uh, I knew in that um, movie because that they could fly. the writers are fucking incompetent. Did they not like, watch anything why. besides like episodes one? No, because six? they rushed out a fucking movie. They decided to rush out the fucking like. <laughs> they decided that like you know like the most like popular. Sorry, franchise of audience, all time. for bringing that up. You know like the most yeah. It's like you know one of those popular franchises of all time. Like we're gonna like get, put a or, like we're gonna like do the final three movies yeah. that have been talked about for decades. You know, right. and we're gonna like force the creative team to do it in. Five years, but we're also not going to have any of the three teams working on any of the movies work with each other. Right, like that's what that's what real leadership looks that's like. That's how nine eleven happened because nobody was nobody, <laughs> nobody was talking to anybody. <laughs> yes, Lucas. Maybe like, the CIA Lucas, and the FBI I, should talk. What saying is maybe like, the Lucas NSA. Film is like Al Qaeda. Okay, well, like, like, oh. you know what? I, a lot of people would compare I Kathleen mean, Kennedy to Osama bin Laden. I mean, that's a probably like, not the most. It's probably not the fairest <laughs> criti- critic in the world. But. Sorry about that. And and <laughs> look at that vein on my forehead. Uh, real quick. Oh my God! What the hell's going on with I that know, vein? Man. I'm gonna have a conniption over here, bro. Uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, uh, we know Hayden Christensen is showing up in this show. Yay! At some point. We, he's been casted. Yay! Uh, and it didn't show up in this, but we will get. I imagine we're gonna get. We also know there's a younger version of Ahsoka casted, like two versions of it, like a child one and a teenage one, which is basically Clone Wars aged Ahsoka. Right. Which, like, if I see fucking live action Clone Wars, like, I like seeing. I like seeing like Rosario Dawson. Like as like older Ahsoka, like that's cool. I think she does a pretty good job. I think she's a little bit wooden at times. I think she could have a little bit more um, energy. But again, it's hard to tell with just the trailer since she's only been in two episodes before. Right. So I don't want to judge her overall performance yet. And I've been very impressed with like the yeah, body but when language. She fights, but no, I'm impressed good. with the, the fighting and the body language and even some of the way she enunciates her lines. I like a lot. But if I get to see like like live action version of like of like Clone Wars Ahsoka. 
like with like that outfit and like her like green lightsabers or well, some didn't shit. They, like didn't that'll they, be like that'll be really special. Or they, like to see her with Anakin. Like that'll be like. Fucking did they announce nuts. a different actress playing younger Ahsoka? Yeah, it's the girl who played the middle version. Because again, there was three versions of, uh, what's her fucking name? Sea Smoke. Uh, no, no, not that's, that's the dragon name. In um, House of the Dragon. Yeah. There was the the Valerians, and then oh, they had the, okay. the the girl. Like there was right. the two. There was the son and the daughter. Right. She played the middle actor because again they had the young, they had the girl, then they had the middle one who was like sixteen ish, and then I they had the it. older one. Yeah. So, so she she's, plays the middle one. Is, so, the, is casted as Ahsoka. So we're clearly going to get. Clone Wars era Ahsoka and Hayden Christensen having a conversation. Yeah, and I think, and potentially even, um, I, I, I think flashbacks are likely, and I think, like Force Ghost Anakin is also potentially likely yes. as well. Are we um, going to get as, as weird as the Force Ghost Anakin thing has always been? Because are make we a lot going of sense, to but, get Ahsoka Vader? I think, yeah, I think they'll fucking reshow that. I think we're gonna get a lot of. Like, I think a shot. lot of Ahsoka's moments are. I mean, they did if they did like the Rebels thing. Like shot for shot, then like why would you like stop there? Right. Like why like the rebels moment is just like a simple moment at the end of the show. Like it's a powerful moment, it's a nice moment, but it's like not the most powerful moment they could adapt. But you could adapt like Twilight of the Apprentice fight in a sense, like you or sure. or it doesn't have to be like a big scene that you have to re- completely reanimate. But you can show like a clip of it in like a montage. Or, I don't like, need to like, see a lot something. of it. I again, I don't. I'm not saying I'm smart enough to know like how to write all this stuff into the story and make it coherent and like make it actually fit and be worth having right. it there. But like if if we get some of this stuff and it works within the story they're trying to tell, that'll be very cool. Yeah, I would agree with that. All right. Otherwise, I think that's about it for Ahsoka. We got a yeah. little bit of Ezra. We got our first look at the actor actually who plays Ezra, but he's only in the little hologram. Um, and there's also a shot that I think was so clearly leaked. they're still looking for him. Yeah, they're still looking for him. I think there's also a shot that was leaked that seems to show that um, Sabine still has Ezra's lightsaber, and I think is fighting off like like uh, I think want, I'm not sure if it's one of the orange sabers or something else. There's also an Inquisitor in this trailer. Uh, like with a red lightsaber, the weird like spinny blade thing, um, which I don't know if that's going to be like a flashback thing because I don't know what an inquisitor like that would be doing. Yeah, that seems like more like post, um, yeah, like post re- re- Return of the Jedi. Because again, with like even like in the last couple seasons, that's episodes, why I feel even like in the last couple flashback. seasons of Rebels, like because of what happens in Rebels, I'm always under the impression that like I think they they kind of run out of inquisitors. And like that was kind of Jedi, always and they my. Ran out of Jedi's no, they to kill. They, no, they got most of the Jedi. My thing was like they got most of the Jedi by the end of the war. Any by the end of like the the time the war started and Luke came right. around. So like there was not too many Jedi to actually kill. So I don't think there's like many Inquisitors left. And even after like they kill the three Inquisitors on my, in, my the, opinion, in the season two finale, there's no more. You don't see another Inquisitor in, for the, the two my, seasons of uh, in Rebels. In my after opinion. That. They once once the emperor fights in Inquisitor. Once the emperor and Darth realized that they'd killed all the ones that they needed to kill, um, they killed the Inquisitors because they didn't want a chance. They just killed off naturally. I think they just literally like they had a certain number of Inquisitors, and I think they just fucking like over time, like because I guess again, I think if you were a Jedi who survived like fifteen years in, like I think you probably could beat an Inquisitor. Yeah, like a lot, a lot of the time. Not in every case, but like even Kanan was w- without a lot of training. But that's why I think Darth by the would end, just, eventually, when he was done Inquisitor. with them, he just killed them. I mean, they also because yeah, you don't the, want a the chance. Inquisitors also weren't full fledged Sith by any means. Yeah. They were basically so like ju- Ventress yeah, in a sense. Like, yeah, they were just, they were like uh, just, assassins and I, just uh, kill I think even worse. You don't than want that. a chance of them like yeah. rising up and causing any trouble. That's so why they gave them the weird like over the top like lightsaber that spun to give them like an extra advantage. Because again, like Palpatine and Vader weren't going to. And remember, they can help you fly. Which oh, is, not that bullshit. They better do. They, they should do that. No, they shouldn't. They should do that for like a moment. And can they do it and then have it stop working and yeah, then the guy fall to his, to his death? Like, like as an funny. apology, can we recon it that that? No, doesn't I think work? they should have a guy like go into an elevator shaft and then turn it on and then just fly away. Oh, okay. People got no idea what we're talking about. All right, about so if they haven't seen that now. So now they announced. Right, we we need to get into the movie announcements, correct? Uh, no, we'll do that in a sec. We'll go over the other two things that. Oh yeah, there's two more things. Let's do that quickly. Uh, again, they did they did some Andor panels and stuff. There was some Andor footage because we're in an hour. They showed already. some. Oh really? Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Uh, they showed Andor footage. I think behind the scenes that I didn't end up seeing. They showed a, a decent amount for Acolyte. In Acolyte, I saw a leaked like minute four. Like there's a two minute trailer they showed there. Um, but the 
that looks good. That yeah. looks a bit. That looks like an actual show with like an ideas and like an actual like style to it. Whereas like a lot of the Disney Plus stuff doesn't have that. Like it feels more akin to Andor than like the other stuff than like uh like Boba Fett or like right. Obi Wan. Like it, whereas like not to mention like we get some Sith characters finally. Like we actually like Disney's barely explored like like that side of things. Well, and, like, like you I told think me this, main, the main characters are y- Sith. You told show. me this within the canon that back then. Uh, Sith didn't actually have to be existing twos. No, that's not that, at this that point. That came this point later. Is, this is, this that is came only, much later. This is only 150 years before. Like, this uh, Acolyte thing yeah. is only, like, 150 years before. Like before. I mean, no, it might even be, like, 80. I don't even know. It's not that long before. Like, oh, I'm uh, getting this confused with the one You're movie. getting that close with Mangold's thing. Okay. Uh, but this is the High Republic era, which is, like, a slight... Like, there's... The Jedi are, are like, High a Republic little, sounds like something out of Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's a little bit dumb. I don't like... <laughs> the era is, like, they've been doing a lot, of, a lot of stuff with it in the literature yeah. at the moment, which I don't really pay attention to. But well, that, uh, that term high... High, high society like that that's a thing that's in, yeah it's supposed it's to in. yes it's supposed to be like a bit more like peaceful like the jedi were like all white and gold like so yeah. their colors are a bit more like regal and they're like a bit more like right i don't know they, 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 they were more yeah, exactly like it's a like different it. era than yeah. it is now got it um I, but either way like this is during the period where like the sith were in the rule sorry we're in the rule of two uh, but like, like we're doing that whole thing, but we're in the shadows. So this is like everything that our Sith have to do, like within canon in this has to be like secretive. It has to be like behind the scenes. It has to be like espionage type stuff. And there's only two of them. And there's still like a full fledged Jedi order at this point. Like Yoda is around at this point. I don't think he's going to be in the show much, but like, I imagine we'll have Yoda. I, we also know that there's like a, the Wookiee Jedi that's been like kind of, yeah, we saw a leak of him. That's been reasonably well, um, yeah. Uh, there was a leaked photo of him. Was oh, was there? there? Okay, I think um, there was. But either way, but he's the, been cast from the guy who plays. The Chewbacca guy who plays Chewbacca now. in the younger guy who's yeah. taking over the Chewbacca role uh, is going to play that one, which I like a lot. That he gets to come back and um, yep. play, do Star Wars stuff again because he does a good job with like as Chewbacca. And it'll be our first real live action Jedi Wookiee. Yeah, we got Kanji, but, but yeah, but yeah, but it'll be a cool. Yeah, we got a live action Wookiee Jedi. Um, so that'll be cool, and that I think that'll be more of a side character thing. But that character showed up in the literature for the High Republic a lot as well. Right. So they are going to have some tie-ins to like the stuff that does so exist. So those for people two things that, do that we're excited that about both of those stuff. projects. I think those both those projects we will enjoy. Yeah. I don't know if all the fans will, but we will enjoy those projects. Mm-hmm. Uh, was and then we what else is that? Also, they described sh- they described acolyte as frozen meets Kill Bill. Like that's what the act the, the director writer like described that as. I'm like okay. All right, like that's. Plus, I think there's some. I think that movie's that's like Is ten. Is it gonna be a musical? I think that's like ten episodes. Yeah. I think it's like I saw something where it was like an hour each. Okay. Like I don't know if that's true or not, but if they are actually have like a show where it's like, oh wow, we could actually like have the writing talent to write like a forty minute story each episode. Yeah, but if someone does like, an hour episode, they're gonna say it's too much filler. So no matter care. what, people are gonna true. be mad. People are just jerks. So all right, let's get into the three movies because we're already at an hour. Yeah, they also so. did some. So the less elastic for show. Um, they also did some skeleton crew stuff, but like they like they brought some of the kids out. I think one of the kids was sick, so he wasn't there. But they showed the, them the trailer for the first time. I don't think I actually saw anything leaked about that, right? Um, except for the fact that like the one random pirate that flew away, like in episode like five of Mando, like is like in that show. Like okay. it was in the trailer. So I'm like, like so like so half of the Mando season was just like. Like, let's put Rangers of the New Republic stuff that we didn't get to put in that show because we hired an anti-Semite. And, <laughs> and like, uh, and then uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> right. All right, let's get to the films. And then the other thing, yeah. But I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, then the, this is the biggest announcement of the, the evening, I would say. Three movies the, the were night. announced. What are the three movies? The three movies. All right. This is where I'm going to get, like... Well, let's knock off the ones that were. I'm kind of excited. All right, we're about. gonna knock off the two that that have not that literally know nothing about and like don't have anything like existing with right. them at all. Which is the Dave Filoni movie, which is like okay, cool. Dave Filoni gets a Star Wars movie. That's cool with me. I'm cool with that. He gets a show. He gets the Ahsoka show, which is hopefully gonna come out and like knock everyone away, showing that he's like the guy who understands like this the most. Right. Uh, anyway. Like, so that's going to be, like, a combined, like, they described it as, like, a New Republic movie, which was, like, a wrong description immediately. That was a terrible description. Which was, like, which in which they immediately yeah. clarified, like, was something was, like, no, it's just, like, a culmination film of the Disney Plus stuff. Okay, to like, be okay, fair, they never said New, New Republic. Re- no, they did. They did. They, they said New Republic? Somebody described it as that. Like, I think, like, yeah. fucking Kathleen Kennedy did, I think. Well, that's, like, I wish she'd go away. Anyways, but. 
But so anyway, this so is the team up. Movie. So I'm like, okay, I think this people is, have been speculating this about is that. Star anyway. Wars Endgame is what this is. But either way, I'm like, okay. And this she is, said something like, oh, it's very far along. I'm like, how is it far along? You like, can't put, be far along. You haven't even put I, other I wish like. She would just go with, like get in, moving into a cabin someplace because she's. It, it the can't other shows be, haven't even come out yet. It, it we have one, they haven't even started the storyline. Like, like the, the storyline for like this part of the universe just actually kicked into gear last episode of Mando. Right. Like genuinely. Like I'm not even joking. Like it just kicked into gear. My, my my opinion like, is Filoni knows like where it's years. going. I he th- knows I where it's going degree, in his head. Yeah. And it might even be on a dry erase board somewhere. But it's there's no script yet because you got to see what happens with the existing no, nothing, shows. No, nothing. They so, have an outline, so a loose all outline. The, all the current shows that are in the Mando universe, which is the best way to timeline, the Mando those shows are all going to cross I over. I hate that term, but sure. Yeah. Well, it's not a Mando verse, but it's the Mando timeline. Yeah. Everybody that's post uh, episode six that. That Ahsoka, yeah. Boba Fett, all this stuff's yeah. going to overlap. And they assigned it as like trying to like it's, as like seal into the. Which I will say, like in the last episode of uh, like last episode of Mando, like we kind of got like a confirmation of something that I thought, which was like we've seen those weird cloning tubes and stuff before, like on Navarro, like in episode right. in season two. But that was a Gideon project, and Gideon's cloning does not seem to be. Because we had this, we had a shadow council in the last Mandalorian episode. Spoilers right. of the, which was all the, which is a thing from I think old canon as well. Yeah, and it and kind of has been wrote, written about a little bit yep. of like all these different warlords of the Empire kind of coordinating behind the scenes. Um, and well, when it's supposed to be in my mind when yeah. I saw that scene was it's the rebellion of the Empire people. Like remember, because we've seen like circles yeah, of it's communications. Like it's similar, yeah. it's mm-hmm. almost like. There's a re- the, the Empire leftovers. Yeah, they're kind are of a dad role. They're now. becoming like in their mind, they're rebelling against the New Republic. No, that's kind of yes. That's and kind they're of the like they have their little pockets it. that don't necessarily interact with each other, and they all have to find ways to support each other if they yeah. want. But to. they brought in like Brendel Hux, who's like uh, yeah. like the father of like Hux from the Seagulls. I'm like, and okay, he's being played by. I'm like, oh, good, a brother. sequel link. And I'm like, but I'm like, okay, yeah. fine. Um, but either way, like the stuff that we have seen, the cloning stuff that has existed, that Gideon. Has, has, that's not Snoke stuff. Right. The G- G- Hux's stuff is Snoke First Order stuff. Whatever Gideon's doing is his own thing. Because I think Gideon's power, and even like I think what he did to Pershing, I don't f- even know if that's because of like that he wanted. I think he already has the knowledge that he probably wanted from Pershing, and then he like like destroyed his brain, or whatever, so that like the other Imperials couldn't get it. I think that Gideon, like in the, is is almost like there's there's almost slowly that, the the Empire are working together, but I think Gideon almost has like designs of like because they're talking about Thrawn being this big like well the, he kind of he's got, gonna re, he's gonna re bring back our military right. again and like he's going he, to re, and he kind of like and he, Gideon kind of like, is like well, where is he. Exactly, that's what Where I'm saying. Gideon he? has his own. I keep po- hearing about Thrawn. He exactly. wants to set himself up as the leader. Exactly, it's 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 power struggle. It's like when yeah. it's like when Hitler or like uh or like Russia and the various points in history got the got the head cut off. Then right. the people below them, they like the sure. people they, right. they 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 consume each other. They fight for resources. Well, let's not get they, caught up in this because we're going to run out of time. Exactly. So, so um. But yeah, that's what we have for the I'm Filoni fine. stuff. We don't, like, there's nothing more to be said except we are going to get the movie at some point, which I'm yeah. excited about. Otherwise, they said a James Mangle movie, which this uh, this announcement is cool, but it just it doesn't mean anything. Like I'm just, it just doesn't because it's it's just you said we have a James Mangle as a director. He's also been said he's directing like Swamp Thing for the DC mo- movie. So like, okay, which one's he doing first? So until I know that, I'm right. like, okay, like what? What's when the did point? they say that movie supposedly would come? They out? said that they no, they didn't give. None of these have release dates. Right. None of these have any form of release date at all. None of these movies, as despite what Kathleen Kennedy wants to say, even as scripts. Well, we're gonna get to that. None but, of them do. Um, but yeah, and that's something that has to do. That's not even like an old Republic movie. So, um, they, they another thing they showed was they showed like a timeline. Like graphic on at this panel, and I don't think I might have it in my phone. Right. I don't want to like go through the entire thing, but it basically it showed like off like a bunch of different eras that they were like almost like viewing like as like the new like you know Star Wars like like so like when we announce a project like it'll show up in which time part of the timeline it's exactly place. um yeah here we go it's like old Re- it's like old Republic. No, no, Dawn of the Jedi is the first one. Then it's the Old Republic. So, like, that, which does imply that, oh, they will do Old Republic stuff at some point. 
Like, which is, so that's cool that they actually are thinking about, like, oh, we can do it, Old Republic. Then they do the High Republic, which, again, doesn't make any sense because, like, the High Republic's, like, a very specific era. Right. Like, during, like, the later part okay. of, like, the what rebellion. Else? And then, like, the, but, like, that shit, yeah, again, th- 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 that's not correct. Like, it shouldn't be Old Republic to High Republic. It's not, cr- like, right. right. Um, but then you go, like, Fall of the Jedi, which should be the Fall of the Republic. Uh, Age of Rebellion. The Reign of the Empire, Age of Rebellion, The New Republic, Rise of the First Order, and then, like, some Jedi, and then Ray Jedi Order or something stupid was the last one. Like, uh, but either, so that's, like, this new thing they announced, because they didn't have any actual an- announcements to make beyond just, like, ideas for movies. Well, here so was, they just announced here, a, a timeline of here, things Here was my impression exists. of what I saw of the first two that we've mentioned. Yeah. We're going to get, you know, the Filoni... Yeah. Mando verse whatever movie when it's when we get to that point. Well, yeah, whatever. We that, don't know when that's going to be. A get to the natural point of conclusion. Yes. That's when that because we comes. we know we got one probably one more Mando yeah. season. And the Ahsoka, Mang- and the, probably another yeah. season. Did we of say Boba what the Fett. Mangold movie was? Yeah, the Mangold movie is like the, is a dawn of the Jedi movie. So it's a, yeah. it's, it's apparently at the very beginning. It's of very the beginning, time. like the about like the first Jedi, like who learned to harness the Force. Which yeah. again, we have some literature and some stories from like extended universe about that. So like I would hope he would look at that a little bit to at least take some inspiration. But like he has wiggle room with. That. Well, the good news and it's is not old yes. Republic. It's well, not, the good it news is old about, Republic. He has the games that like, which I. It's gonna be weird when someone tries to take the old Republic because if they someone tries to do the old Republic and doesn't like heavily incorporate ideas from the games, they're gonna have a fucking mutiny. That's on why their hands. I think, like, like in some respects, they're smart to go and do something that has no canon. Like, yeah, except or at the least fact less that, canon, less important canon. Yeah, like, because like, who cares? It's ten thousand. Although years it's, a, ago. it's twenty-five, it's like twenty-five thousand years. Yeah, so I think who is cares? The, like, who is where cares? it is in the canon. Like, let me so, see the first lightsaber or whatever. I don't care. Exactly. I mean, this, like, is, this is. I mean, the first you, Jedi had you know, proto sabers technically, which were like these weird. Like, I mean, what? the first Jedi and like a lot of the old they had legend, what sabers. They had well, there's a the lightsabers like the latest in like the line of stuff they used. Like first, the Jedi had swords oh, okay. that they infused force into. That they oh, literally like. I like, never knew that. Like, and then they had a second one was they had like a, a lightsaber, but it had a battery. Like it, they literally had like a wire like connecting it to like a power source, right. and then they had like a laser sword, but it like it didn't have wasn't powered by the crystal. A laser sword. It, then they eventually got kyber crystals, okay. and then that was the. Most All right, so now we thing. focused on those. So now, now we have the, to get into what the we bullshit. call the biggest announcement of the night. <sighs> Even I was like, "What? Oh wait, before we do that, really quick." They did ask about the Ryan Johnson trilogy, no, and dead. they kind of said that it's t- dead. I was going to talk about that, but yeah. But they kind of, they didn't say it's dead what dead. A, what a surprise. But they said, well, we're thinking about maybe not doing it by killing someone. They confirmed like, it's not in development. It's currently they not doing it's not anything. not in development at all. Which, which is also like. Which I don't even know if he's ever like, read a word like of Like the that Quentin script. Tarantino so, Star Trek movie, which will never happen. Yeah, But I keep hearing about every three months. Okay. So that movie, so thank God the Ryan Johnson trilogy is never going to happen. All right. And this is the one, the movie. This is the one movie that actually has at least, like, I know they've worked on. Like, there's certainly been behind-the-scenes work that has been done with this movie. A director has been attached to this movie for a while. Like, there's a new writer for this movie, but there was other writers that um, were attached for a long, at least, like, five, six months, like, in the media, from what I, what I, what I remember. Um but they've announced and they brought out like a this was a surprise. They had Kathleen Kennedy on stage and they had br- they bring Daisy Ridley out. Um, honestly, like I felt a little bad for her because like people were just more confused than like anything else. I right. think like it wasn't the most like like it, it should have been more fanfare than you thought it would have been uh, when she got brought out. Because again, like in like there are all these just moments like the Star celebration where you can just tell that Kathleen Kennedy is like gets less cheers and like other people and like all this weird stuff. Um, but yeah, and I don't know. Like, so they they're, they're doing a Daisy Ridley is returning as Ray, and, and somehow then, and, and Ray this is returned. The only one, yeah, somehow Palpatine returned again. Uh, and uh, I, and I don't the know. The Rise of Snoke. I just don't know even. I don't know where to start. Like, this is the only one we have any bit of information about, really, of these three movies. And this is the one that's supposed to be coming out first. This is the first one. Which so, so before you go any farther, no, I like no, no. I just want to make my one little yeah. comment about this is that. Like six months ago or three months ago, she made a comment that the problem with the trilogies, with the, with the sequel trilogy movies, is that they were rushed. Yeah. And then she said we shouldn't I'm have getting, done I'm that. To this. And it's then fine. two seconds later, she says, "By the way, we're going to rush out this next movie." Anyway, um, so screw you, lady. Oh, yeah, I'll get to that. Um, 
But yeah, so what they told us about this movie, and nobody, I don't, I mean, there are certain people that are happy, but um, it's set 15 years after the rise of Skywalker. <laughs> on Tatooine. <laughs> We're going to be back on fucking Tatooine again. What the fuck? Like, it's, okay, so you don't even, they don't even have the balls to, like, explore, like, the era they set up. Right. I think I saw something that said, like, she, like, Jedi and I are still in disarray, which is, like, are you fucking, like, serious? Who's like, in how, disarray? The Jedi. There are no Jedi. Well, no, but, like, she's starting the whole, but the whole point of this movie, and again, this is just, like, the idea that they came out on stage and were, like, like, we're just gonna gaslight you all. It's, like, we're gonna, like, have a movie where, like, we're gonna have Rey, like, be a Jedi master and, like, train a new generation of Jedi. It's, like, oh, you mean the thing that, that we, we should have got? That we wanted Luke to do yeah, for 40 years? And right. so now, like, we have to, you're going to give, like, Rey what we waited 40 years Because we all love Rey so much. Because you wanted to tell a story that, like, you, your characters weren't good. Oh, I don't even want to, I don't want to talk about the sequels, but, like. Because there's so much more I could talk about. Like I don't need to. T- I don't need to talk about like the sequels to like talk about like the incompetence of these people. Well, like, I it's think nice that it's barely like the... I don't even need to talk about the writing to get into like the incompetence. I can just talk about right. behind the scenes stuff that is known right. fact. Like well, right, ultimately, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Yeah, but let me right, go through go like some of the other right, things that have like that we know that about here, that, that we've heard said. about this. Um, so again, like so, Ray training a new generation of Jedi. Fifteen years later, so she's an older Jedi. She's like first. She, she's been fifteen years since the last movie. Which again, like, let's get as and far she can't away. Can't remember where she buried let's get as the lightsaber. Far away from the last movie. Also, like we no other announcements about other characters. And she's pregnant with Ben Solo. Which is like, baby. all right, cool. Like, is Daisy Ridley like, like if you could have got other actors that were, which again, like, I don't know who you'd actually get, but like clearly, like if you already had like. Like the guys who play Poe and Finn, like Oscar Isaac and Don yeah. Boyega, like clearly, like if they were signed on by now, they would be there because they're like because there's no characters within the sequel trilogy that draw fans that are alive at this point. Right. You know what I mean? Like who's like the like Kylo is like the Wedge. most is Kylo's the most like well liked one like, of the bunch, which is still inexplicable. But like, and he's dead because because his acting is very good. Yeah, John Boyega. Like I imagine, and here's the thing: like this entire movie, like doesn't even make like like. And I, and I go look at the people that are happy about this announcement because again, it's split. Like it's it's split. And and I, and I want to say like, um, and the, but also this movie is being set up for. I'm I'm all over the place, but like. I'm I'm trying to like collect like the best way I can describe this. Like this movie's being set up for failure. Is like I don't is more of what I'm talking about. Like cuz like they've been talking about like for years how like they know that like it is essential that when they return to the movies that they they get that first movie right. Like they've said that like multiple times. Um and like there's just like it's just it's hubris, I think. Like that's the only thing or it's self-sabotage. Like on purpose, like because like you like the Star Wars fans didn't like what you tried to give them, so like let's sabotage like because again none of this I don't think anything else that's announced here as much as I like a lot of the other stuff like nothing matters unless they fix like the the movie side of Star Wars like like the long term health of the fandom and like because again what they bought Star Wars for like the, people could say like love to say like well those movies still made money it's like great like nobody said those movies didn't make money like sequel trilogy fans the problem is like if you think those movies made the money that Disney thought they were going to make when they bought Lucas over $5 billion, you're fucking childish and you need to grow up. Like you need to look at yourself and like those, like, yes, Star Wars still makes money. Nobody's saying that Star Wars isn't a profitable franchise that rakes Disney in money. But if you think that Star Wars in its current state is raking in the money that Disney expects it to rake in for the property that it is, you are fucking laughably wrong. Like, it's just not true. And especially sequel trilogy stuff. Like, sequel trilogy is the crux. Like, all of Star Wars is on a low. Like, even Mando this season. Mandalorian this season, which has not been the most, is the, the weakest season in that I would say it's been received, right? Sure. Like, and this is like, like, Star Wars is not in a healthy place. Like, well, the, let, let the, me, the, Star let Wars, me, the Star Wars shows don't do well. I, like, I want to I wanna agree with you on a few things. And I think yeah, it's, then I can go. And, and more. No, no, but, yeah, but I, fill I, in, I, fill I, up no, to what I've said I want to so fill far. in some comments here, like, because. What when I watch when I look at social media they'll see stuff like let Filoni run everything and Which I don't is dumb dis- too. what Which is dumb too. And, and well let me let me comment on that. So I don't disagree with the fact that most of us would agree that Filoni understands the Star Wars universe better than anyone. But two things. He doesn't have enough control 
Yeah. They're not going to give it to him because somewhat, because of hubris. And he's so let me, creatively liberated. Let me let me let me have my let me have my points. Um, and not everything that he's done is super well received because there's a lot of people because the what Star Wars fan Star Wars fans are all over the place. They're like the rest of society. Mm-hmm. Like there isn't one type of Star Wars fan. You know what I mean? Like. Like it's not like yeah. you can take. So the problem is, is because Star Wars fans are so diverse from all over the world, and you can't get a gauge them at all. You can't. Like, I, you, I'm I'm unable to gauge like the overall opinion of Star Wars fans at all times. And, and, and that's like, my that's my point. Why like, like, like you can't just give it to Filoni and say, uh, you know. So go I understand fix like this. why it's hard because, for them to understand. Like yeah. like I understand why it's such a difficult process for yeah. them to. But like it's because not, they but messed it's, it up. But so it's bad. also not that difficult. It's also like there's just like if you just like followed like certain like they're just like there's certain things you just shouldn't do or that they did wrong that like weren't needed to be done that you just did because you weren't you didn't realize or didn't have enough insight into both Star Wars and Star Wars fandom that doing that was going to set up a reaction which if that's the people you have writing behind it then you've already failed in setting up a team to because whether or not like because again whether or not like Star Wars because here's what's stupid like what and there's a lot of people always say like that um like the last Jedi defenders, essentially, is well, this is mainly what I'm talking about. Which, um, l- which again, like they're a move. They, which again, are a little bit aggrieved because, like again, their idea is was like that middle movie. The people that like, I don't even know where I'm talking about. Actually, I, I gotta read. Yeah. Like, I gotta read. No, but you brought up a good point gotta, about the yeah. team, and that's the problem. You can't this. They need. Like you fail at that beginning stage. They, they like, need a team that really sits down and says, "Okay, where? How can we build?" And I don't know if this can be done. How do we build a film that can get everybody back excited about it? And I don't think that Ray is the answer because here's my thing. If you do a Ray movie mm-hmm. and you don't have Finn That's, I was and gonna, or... I was, was going to get to that. Or actually. and or the other... Or, um, Poe. As- Poe. Yeah, as- yeah. uh, you know, what are we just going to have her and BB-8 running around? But yeah, let me just let me get, like, let me like, get to that real quick. Um, you know... So let me just see what I else I have here. Because so. there's no other characters left. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, what characters? Like, everybody else is dead. Well, here's here's the thing. Actually, well, here's what I'm what I'll say. Like, it's just got um, and th- let me talk about real quick. Like, <sighs> there's a very specific like everyone that I see. There's two. Li- there's like three lines of thought basically. There are four. There's like there's, like I'm not going to sit here and tell you that like there, there isn't a big part of the Star Wars fandom that like sees a woman do anything or like a minority and has like a fucking like over the top like fucking reaction to it. Like they obviously like exist. And like even for a movie that I fucking despise, like The Last Jedi, like I know that when I talk about that movie in a negative way, like I automatically get associated like with like with like, I must have a problem with like because of that. And if there's like, anyone who doesn't, it's you. Well, I'm a f- like like again, and not that like being like on a no. But if there's political- anyone, who- and not that being on a certain political side of anything like makes you like m- like more or less like uh, like agree with those things because there are hypocrites everywhere. But like, I'm incredibly far left. I'm incredibly f- I'm much far like even the community of people that seem to like um, the Last Jedi and like and even like the the sequel trilogy in general. They come from a very specific political um group and it's called it's called central lib cent- centrist liberals who love to like actually like argue in the trenches about like non-important shit like shit that's important but like like stuff like like for instance like they saw the rea- this is a group of people that i think likes the last jedi but like they saw the vitriol which again i fucking despise the vitriol reaction that the last jedi got because like the because the, the worst fucking actors in the world seized upon like the fact that the movie had like women in it and like and like and people of color in it and by and actors att- you attack- don't mean actors yeah. actors you and mean used- you mean like bad actors bad i mean bad actors like bad actors in on society. the internet who used society. like a movie that i wasn't that i didn't appreciate at all that i didn't like at all but they had decided to use like they, the avenue they decided to use to attack the movie was through like hateful ideology instead of like the very Racism, obvious homophobia like, which uh, yeah exactly anti gender yes i agree with that which again and i don't and again like I, I just I don't, like the movie because it's and just again, bad. Like, I'm not going to say that like the ca- that um got terrible and there are choices. people that like care about like the like politicalization and bullshit. I'm like, first off, Star Wars is political. Second off, like if you care like like yes, is the some of the Lucasfilm, especially the Kathleen Kennedy brand of 
like feminism like is it annoying in a sense like yeah it's one of those things where it's like they're fighting the good fight but they're fighting the fight the wrong way you know what it, you know, I don't know what start what, what the sequel trilogy is it, it's Brie Larson it's somebody who like is fighting a good fight most people agree with your fight but rightly or wrongly the way you're fighting it turns people off I think that's a really really interesting like so you're point. doing and again I'm a leftist I'm very yeah, I'm very you are. like I'm, I'll talk about my <laughs> I'll talk about my politics here I fucking despise yeah. Democrats like as like a as a group because I think that Dems like, as a whole as a whole yeah. like as like a as an like entity because I think Dems and like or these the centrist group here like I think they saw the vitriol and they now defend like last Jedi or the sequel trilogy and like Kathleen Kennedy at, from like these goblins these in these internet dwelling well, let me take like it basement dwelling which again like in the, and now yeah. much of the Star Wars fandom is now like cast as that person now, let me like, let me no, take no, it for no, a I gotta, second I gotta give Finish it a little bit and more I wanna, I wanna comment and on stop some because I, will, I lose my train of thought Fine. easily on these Quickly. things but uh, I, like, I've lost it go or go well I'm, let me quick on the Kathleen Kennedy and sorry I didn't mean to do that but Kathleen Kennedy is a problem for me because I don't have a problem with Kathleen Kennedy being a woman or being in charge but politics, I feel like she's got all. nothing she doesn't she understand do our fandom she doesn't understand it. She doesn't want to understand it. And she refuses to admit that she made mistakes. If And again, I don't even want to talk about... Let me Actually, before I even talk about the more political stuff, because again, like it's weird. And all we only that. got about seven minutes. I'll talk it up. I might be longer. Um, Like, you just talk about like... like I did, either way, I think much of the defense of her and the sequel trilogy binds down to like... One, one, one down to media illiteracy. Um, cause again, there's a lot of people that watch Star Wars that are just kind of illiterate to some of the deeper meanings and stuff about it. Well, that's fine. Like you can, you can interpret anything you want and like everything is meant to be interpreted, but like, just know that like, if you think the force like works, like how it works in the sequel trilogy, go read anything that Lucas ever wrote about the force, go watch Clone Wars, go watch the original trilogy. And also like, and real quick, like if you think something new is being talked about in like episode eight, it's not. Like, there's not any new concept that's being added there at all. Like, Luke already struggled with the Jedi, with that whole thing, and beat it in Episode Eight. Like, that was the whole idea. And then the idea of the Jedi going away, like, is, again, fuck, we've talked about this. But let's just talk about behind the scenes. Like, 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 there's not, like, if you are not, a, you tell me Lucas does a good job. Luke Lucasfilm is like this great, like, company behind the scenes. Like, let's just go through, like, what's your. Wait, just, wait, wait, say that again? Like, like, Lucas is doing, like, a Lucasfilm is, like, this well. Uh, I thought you just She's Lucas. the president of Lucasfilm. Like, yeah. yes, she has some creative thing. And again, so, like, the idea that, like, Kathleen Kennedy is, like, solely responsible for, like, all three sequel movies failing is like yes she's she's the president she has like a great deal of responsibility but no like you can't just scapegoat like the one woman who again like also was like picked by Lucas if we're being honest maybe he was sabotaging Lucasfilm for all we know but like no because he had a relationship with her through a lot of his other films like Raiders but either way of the like Lost she's Dark. not done a good job she's like, been around for and, those and this other is just things. like this isn't yes. even and what I'm about to say here is not like a character decision it's not politics this is just facts of the matter that happened Rogue One. Great movie. I like that movie. Doesn't, despite the fact that half that movie is reshot and rewritten. Tony Gilroy, who wrote Andor, was brought in halfway through Rogue One to fix the movie. Okay. And so like so, the, and it still has the director of the other guy because he still ended up directing like most of it. But like that movie's fixed halfway through. Damon Lind. Then um, let's, what else we got? We got the Phil Lord Chris Miller solo movie before they replaced it with Ryan uh, Ron Howard. Yeah. Which that movie was almost Had done. To be fixed. Was that no? That movie was almost done, and was basically they said that they did reshoots. They refilmed a new movie because they let Phil Lord and Chris Miller film an entire movie, and they didn't check on them the entire time. And then when they saw what they were doing, they didn't like it, so they literally just didn't check on them. That's that's tr that you can find that. That was just the oversight. The producers, like Kathleen Getty, just didn't check what their creatives were doing with their money for months, and then when they find it, they panicked. Like, rightly or wrong, I don't even know what that Chris, 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 uh, Phil Lord, Chris Miller, like, solo movie was. Like, I don't know if it would have been better or worse. Yeah, but you weren't know. paying attention. So that's another, like, like right. awful thing there. Uh, what else? Ryan Johnson's Star Wars trilogy. All right, got announced before the movie even came out. And we've had nothing. And now it's dead. Um, episode f episode 9 w was going to be a completely different director. Episode 9 has a completely different script you can read online. So, like, 
Like and it, it was like completely different in ideas. Is that script better or worse? I uh, b- I b- barely better. Not much. Like it's slightly better. There's a lot of people that love that script and like think it's like what a fix the trilogy. Like, no, you're fucking stupid. But uh, no, it's better though. The Dave, the David Benioff and DBY Star Wars stuff, which they rushed Game of Thrones for and then ended up ruining the reputation, so Star Wars couldn't use them. Um, Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron movie, which you did a whole, you had her fucking walk out in an X-wing costume, like onto like a tarmac where you put an X-wing and did like a whole announcement like four years ago just to like have another movie that she did flop and then cancel it. Um, and that movie's been in, was announced like multiple times. The Taika Waititi movie, which was announced in Celebration two years ago that didn't get brought up at this one at all, despite the fact that it was announced as the next Star Wars movie two years ago, basically. Um, and then the only dimension it had, you said you were letting Taiki work on it in a void by himself with no help, which, which is, is like the worst idea. thing you can do yeah. with Taika at the which moment. Is another bad like idea. in terms of just where like the the overall like rightly or wrongly like Taika is kind of like a little bit vilified after like Thor four and like a, a couple other like weird comments and stuff he's made to the Star Wars community that has rubbed people right. the wrong way. It's just Taika's humor, but the it's Star Wars humor, community but is, people, the, the, the yeah. Star Wars community is humorless, and you have to under, yeah. under you have to yeah, be because he said I'm gonna ruin Star Wars. You have to be because he was being with funny this, like, and they thought he was serious. Right. Um, and then, then the weirdest one. Uh, this the, obviously they had that uh, other movie, like J D. Dillard, who had a movie that was for like a year that like gone. They announced that recently. Um, Kai, like there was a Kevin Feige produced thing, which yep. we're learning a lot about now and behind the scenes stuff. Um, that was being written by Loki writer, the guy who's doing like Secret Wars, and Kevin Fe- and and that got like obviously announced. But like the writer for that has made multiple posts talking about his progress and like a little bit about like the movie he was writing and stuff. And Kathleen Kennedy literally did this, like in a, said this. This is a direct quote: Kevin Feige's project was something announced in the press. Uh, and or I suppose fandom, but there was nothing. Nothing ever got developed. We d- never discussed an idea. As everyone knows, Kevin is a huge Star Wars fan, and if he came up with something, I would be all ears. But that never really happened. So it's not an abandoned project. It just never really happened. Okay, what is the what was the the writer talking about then? Like, so you're just like lying. Which is which is my problem with Kathleen Kennedy. She just like straight up lies. Or like, there's plenty of other stuff that I'm going to read as well. Like, here's another quote. Like, as we move, this is about the Ray movie. As we move into the future space, the story is about 15 years outside the rise of Skywalker. Obviously, we realized post war, first order, rise of the new Jedi Order. We left episode nine with Ray making a commitment to Luke Skywalker that she would rebuild the Jedi Order. Did, did that happen? Like, I, first, I, I don't think I see. But, but, but also, like, how generic was that? Well, how like gener- how generic was like, and then also let's find another one. And so here we are. We're ready to do that. And it took a lot of discussion because obviously we've been developing stories in different spaces and television. And here's been a big and has been a big focus of our attention right now. But there is still so much interest in what happens after the rise of Skywalker. It's like, oh, there's so much. Everyone was was pining for it. Like, it's like so we are excited to be doing that. It's like, so it's like no, th- those are non statements. Those are like entire paragraphs well, that disingen- don't say they're just, anything. They're disingenuous at the very least. Yes, like, like because you know what's weird. Also, in the, here's if the, here's she the comes last out one. and says things, well, go ahead. Here's the last. Here's the yeah. worst one. We've got. We've got, uh, we've just got a point. We so we've just got to a point now where we've got a wonderful writer in Steve Knight, and we're probably going to see the script in the next month and a half, and we've been working on it for quite a while. So we're getting close. Okay. Let me give you like this. That's a lie. I mean, at least in the terms of like, or at least like, um, let me tr- explain. Like, we've talked about this before. Remember Damien Lindelof and like the other guy that yeah. were working on a Star Wars movie? Yeah. That was this Star Wars movie. We learned that he was fired on Just April. Recently. On March 21st. Yeah, like a month ago. Like less than a month ago. Which is not even a and month ago. And in the, in the week before that, he was at a panel like at like a, like in real life, like you saw him there, like in person. This happened. It wasn't a recorded thing that came out months later. Like he was at a panel. I think South by Southwest actually, some one one of those type of things. And he was talking about like how he was working on a Star Wars movie, and he made a a comment in that which made it seem like it maybe wasn't going to work out. And then within a few days of that, like the the articles started to come out on March twenty first that said he was done. So uh, that doesn't mean that like to me the way he was talking about it in the panel. I don't know, like, he could have been already, like, not fired or have departed by that point, but it seemed more that he said that and then probably things, like, 
escalated and there was a depart like they departed. Yeah, after. it sounds. But like either that. way, like it doesn't seem that like the departure is very far removed from like him talking about working on it at South by Southwest. Because if he was done with it like a month or two before, right. then why wouldn't he just say I'm not working on that anymore? Right. Like, all right. Well, a couple but, comments. Let me, replaced- let me a couple comments because right, yeah. you've gone for a while. Um, ultimately, the problem is structurally. And it's like, if I compare this to like a sports team, um, you know, at some point, the person in charge has to be responsible for it moving in the wrong direction. Yeah. Look at Disney. They hired a guy to take over and run Disney, and it was a and disaster. Was and they, because of too many, too many things, and they got to go bring back another guy. So, yeah. but anyway, and, and, it's, and it's, let me, like, let me finish. Yeah. So the problem is, is that they're unwilling to really recognize that there's a problem in the entire structure, and whether it's and they just, don't do their jobs well, and it's like whether that's it's, it. that they won't accept that they're not good at their and jobs. There's, and there's like, goofy things too, because I feel there's like too organizationally, much, like, yeah, organizationally there's a problem, and and it, and it's like leading planning. to problems like it's leading to problems. Like why are these like, things being let announced? Me finish. Why are half these let, movies announced let at me, all? Let me finish. So like they screwed up. Like I I I don't want to get into a big thing about the Obi Wan show, but the Obi Wan thing should have been either shorter or it have been a movie, and it probably would have been much better. Um, it, 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 either way, like that, there were mistakes on that. I think there they mistakes burned on the both. Disney Plus goodwill. I think the Disney Plus goodwill is, is down well, the drain. That, that's what I was trying to get to. Like, is that they decided that everything was about marketing Disney Plus, and instead of like, got to fill it with content, got to fill it with content. It's like when I used to run my cable channel, and I threw anything on the channel because I had to fill airtime. And I feel like they were trying to figure out a way to keep subscribers instead of like, let's produce good content. And and you and can't. And say what you will, but like also, and this is a part of this as well. Like the first two seasons of Mando are both good, like cool. But then you came out with Boba, which is a, an L. Like let's be real. Like yeah. it, it, people watched it, but it's not a good show. Obi Wan came out, people watched it, but that show is even like is not well received either. It's in the a grand C scheme of things. plus B minus. Um, but either way, but those shows like in the grand scheme of things, and then like I think that's why like maybe I don't know if that has anything to do with why Andor like got worse viewership or just because of the yeah, style it hurt of Andor. thing it was. It hurt but I think it hurt Andor too. Yeah. Um, and I think it's and it's hurting Mando now. Mando's yes. viewership has gone down every week. Yeah. Like this for this current season. So like the Disney Plus side of things, which was so, the so called healthy part of Star Wars with Favreau and Filoni, which I think like I think we we have to ask major questions of that duo as well at least maybe not in terms of their actual writing ability but i think like favreau has shown that like like especially this season the episodes that like he doesn't have filoni with like there's a it, it's rough yeah like, it, it's it's rough i agree and like I'll, i don't know what the hell is going on with that um all right we're way over our time so what are the uh, other main things that you want to get to but either way so like uh, just back to that one quote like like with the, with the they hiring the new writer writer steve knight if that guy's been like Say they fired Lindelof, and then, like, say, like, March 1st was, like, I imagine, like, we didn't, I don't know, I think Lindelof we would have found out, like, once he was fired pretty quick. I don't think it would have taken, like, two months for, like, the industry to figure out, like, that Lindelof was no longer working on a Star Wars project. They were being pretty open about it. Like, it was, like, they announced it and everything to the media and stuff. So, I don't, so when they say that, the, the director's been attached for a long time. The director... Which, again, this part of the whole setting it up for failure thing. Like, I like this director. This director directed the only two things I've ever seen she's directed. and Because she, she's not directed a lot. And these are the only two things in English I think she's directed um, that are not nonfiction, documentary type stuff. Are episodes four and five of Miss Marvel. Which are, like, the, the episodes in Pakistan. If I remember correctly, in the one flashback episode, okay. which is an episode I like of Miss Marvel quite a bit. But this actress, when you look her up, she's like a... When you look up this director, this director is a... Documentary film. He's a documentary filmmaker who's mainly focused on mainly focused on like women oppression in like uh, around the world, which is like okay, cool, and I'm cool with that. And I would rather have them like if they're going to focus on something like that, have somebody who has like real world experience in it doing that. But I'm not going to act like the fact that you hiring a journalist to direct this movie like is is, like going to fix that. That's going no 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 is like that's an like that act you know like, is going to rile up, is going to start, like, a storm that you could have avoided just by hiring a real director. Or a more talented director, too, because, like, realistically, like, why is, like, the, the sequel trilogy film, like, we're going to put it in the hands of an unknown, like, on top of, like, all of that and anything else. Like, you're just, like, setting it up to fail, both with, like, the person you've, like, hired behind it is going to get bad faith attacks, both because okay. she's Pakistani and because she's a journalist. All right, um, what else? What else do you want to get to? Because we're uh, majorly over Last time. thing is this, I will say, is, like, like, none of any of this matters if they don't nail that, 
like the the first movie release. Like it just doesn't matter. Like no, like the like the the as cool as the Filoni thing is, and as cool as the the Mangold movie sound, like they won't happen if this movie comes out and fucking dies. Like which it will. Like this movie's like like sequel era stuff does not make money. Like for instance, like Ray, the character is gonna come in this film. Like I'm a big Funko guy. Like I uh, rightly or wrongly, <laughs> if that's embarrassing or not. But uh, like. I, I look at all the sequel stuff. The sequel stuff doesn't isn't expensive that's around. They haven't made a new version of a sequel era thing in, like, years. And the stuff that does exist, like, there's this one, like, exclusive pop, like, with Ray with the yellow lightsaber. Like, a really cool, like, one of the cooler additions of things they had. We didn't get a lot of it. That pop, like, you can't buy. You buy for, like, it's on sale. Like, on like for, like, seven bucks. Like, it's, like, 15 should be the actual price of that thing. And it's been like that for, for, for like, months. Like, yeah, nothing sells. Like, nope, there's no not, financial, yeah. like, whether you like the sequel trilogy or not, whether you thought they were good or not doesn't matter financially yeah, like, they're yeah. not like a good direction to that go should be term. and that should be it's like an indicator that like you know like you know when you look at lego sales for example too like the stuff that's from the mando era kids like it's being purchased um stuff from that era nobody's interested in yeah. uh, younger fans don't seem to be following star wars which if you no, don't not have if you don't have a younger generation watching star wars then i don't understand who you think's gonna be watching star wars so and again, you only have Daisy Ridley. Let's wrap it up this with is the this last, thing last I'll say. Last, no, thing I'll I'll say. last question I have for you, and then you can make this. Yeah. I personally don't think whatever this movie is they're announcing is going to be made in that form. Whatever they think it is that they announced, I guarantee you by the time it comes out, first of all, it's going to get delayed. I think Kennedy and could then be sacked at a certain And then point it's too. not going to get made. It's going to, they might be a Ray movie someday, but it won't be what they're saying it's going to be. But yeah, I just, I just don't like I. They've been talking. They've been talking for years. Like they know that like they it's really essential that they like make sure that this first one is something that people one want to see, right? As well, and this just seems like it, I'm sorry. It just seems like like there's like they like this is just a hubris based decision that like there's no there's no there's no yeah, they won't admit there's no that financial they sense behind this like they right. haven't done polling or like internal right. studies that showed the sequel trilogy was the most popular like a ray movie would have been like the best direction like there's nothing that they have that's telling them that right. like that's not true and also like m- most last 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 thing like th- this movie entirely like depends on if you get like what's the name back if you get uh if you get Pope not Poe Finn back I think this and movie, if, you, if you don't get him if back, you can't I think do you this fail. movie and you can't have Poe, I don't care about. If you don't have Finn in this movie, uh, don't make character. it. Yeah, he's the most if popular character. He's the most popular. He's actor. the most popular character, and his his whatever relationship with you know whatever his because she saved him and he like he feels so tied to her. Of a relationship. Yeah, like yeah. Poe can trilogy. be off doing whatever. I don't need Poe. But you got to have Finn. If you don't have Finn as someone to ground Ray to be involved, like, to me, it just doesn't make but any also, sense. He and you have ma- no other characters also, left. If he, if There's you, no other characters also, if you left. Get, but you, I think this fails. I, don't, I think the only thing I've seen, like, the reaction to this was this, but beyond the, the shit libs, the people that like it, um, that, like, are actually, like, real excited. The only other reaction I've seen is, like, I felt bad for how Ray's, the, the, like, what, the, what, yeah, what, I felt bad like, for, that for Daisy Ridley, which I'm fine with. I agree with that. And I, and, and this seems to be the main sentiment I can find beyond this. It's not happy or mad. It just seems to be, like, okay, well, like we we Daisy Ridley is a better person than what she deserved like from what happened to her so like maybe if they give this good writing and a good script and they bring Finn back and like all this kind of stuff then maybe this will be good and since then we know that realistically like we're they're not going to get Finn back and if, even if they do like he, he's going to take massive he has massive leverage because he's talked shit for years about right. that. So getting him back and on the project actually gives it to like that brand of fan who follows what he has to say um, it gives them like a, like a, well, well, all right, if, if he'll do it, then we'll do it. Okay. That's it. Yeah. That's all we got. I, we got to go. Yeah, I know. You got to pee. I got to go. Yeah. Literally, I'm going to pee in my chair. We want to thank you for watching and listening to uh, Next of Ken. I, I do think we're very passionate about our, our content, and I and I love what you have to say, and I love your interpretation and your research. I really do. And I think that's why, like, ours is pretty cool, and I think it's different than a lot of the other crap that's out there. So thank you for uh, watching and listening, and we'll be back next time.